everybody! And welcome to Mist. And apparently air ASMR. Because <laughs> don't know what's happening here. There's like so much directional audio going on with the, these wind sounds. And it's so funny to me because uh, like I've got the, the wind sounds in my headphone from the game. But I also have my fan on in my room as well. So I've got like extra wind. I've just got wind sounds everywhere. <laughs> But welcome in, everybody! Hello, hello! How is everyone doing? Happy Sunday! I hope everyone's had a good weekend. I've, um, I've worked a lot. I've had a busy weekend, but I, I feel productive. And I have money, so... <laughs> so it's been, a, it's been a good weekend. I've been making the most of it. But uh, I'm really excited for today's stream, though. I'm... This game is a really interesting thing for me to play because um, I know that I have played Myst. I have vivid memories of playing Myst, but I don't remember anything about this game. I do not remember a single thing. No, wait, I think I remember something with like... I don't know. No, never mind. I, I don't know if I do know. All I all I remember, like I've I've literally, <laughs> I, I've literally I know that I've completed it, but it was a very long time ago, and it was in a really rough part of my life where I have like blocked out a lot of memories. So I think I've like somehow blocked out a lot of this game. It's like when I was playing Ghost Trick, and like I've played Ghost Trick and loved Ghost Trick, but I'd forgotten how to do like every single puzzle in it, and I'd forgotten the story elements. I guess it's like a good thing about um memory degrading i guess over time it just <laughs> means i can enjoy things for the first time again but either way let me let me greet everybody before i start rambling already but uh welcome in everybody alnom welcome welcome primal Z. Th yes the for some reason the some of the commands with the exclamation points if you add like extra letters onto the end or punctuation marks they don't want to work so you have to make sure they they have spaces either before or after them. <laughs> but a welcome, 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 Dukta. Uh, remember it being difficult back in the day. I remember um, playing it in many different sessions because I would get stuck on something and I'd just put it away and get annoyed. That's all I really remember. I think I also remember like, oh, what was it? I feel like it's like a minecart thing. I remember being annoyed by it. That's the only thing I remember. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to to try it out. I'm to revisit it or visit it for the first time because I don't remember it. <laughs> uh, Gambler, hello. What have you missed? You did not missed. You did not missed. Great grammar. Nothing has been missed yet. <laughs> welcome, welcome, and Bree. Thank you for doing the back seating command. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I've got like super immersion with the with the with the fan going as well. Also, Barb as well. Thank you for the hydrate. Did you all see? Did you see the can? The can for the hydrate. It's the monster I'm drinking today. It's the uh, the Ultra Fiesta, the mango. Except it's Liri branded energy drink now. <laughs> I got like custom energy drink cans to be thrown at me, courtesy of Barb. Thank you very much, Barb. I love them so much. They're so good. But yeah, let me start with cracking open a can. There we go. Have a sip of that. There we go. I'm fueled up and ready. Also, Nermits, hello! At long last, a puzzle game you can't be spoiled on. Yes! <laughs> yes, I'm so glad. I feel like it's a, it's a very interesting thing because I feel like Mist is one of those classics that, like, everybody has heard of it. At least, like, if you know about puzzle games, you've heard of Mist. Probably. But yeah, I was like, I was racking my brains trying to remember anything about it. And literally all I remember is there was a bit with like some kind of minecart system or something and I hated it. And that's all I remember. I genuinely don't remember anything else. So this is going to be great. It's going to be an adventure. <laughs> 
Oh, it's been decades since playing it for you as well. Yeah, it, it, it has. It's been a, a very long time. Uh, keep thinking of trying it again, but th then noping out when it seems you might need to take notes. <laughs> yeah, I I see, I love that. It's like, if a puzzle game makes me have to get my notebook out and start taking notes, that that's the kind of stuff I love. That's what I really enjoy in puzzle games. <laughs> I like the stuff that makes me work really hard for it. Because it always makes me feel so much more accomplished when I when I get the results. <laughs> yes, and water as well. Hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. Cracking open a cold one for the stream. Yeah, the cold can of monster. At 9pm. Because I'm very smart. But uh, it's it's actually probably good for me to be having the monster at this time today. Because I am also doing a collaborate... Uh, uh, I know words. I know how to speak. I am doing a collaborative stream with some friends after this one. So I'm going to be up late tonight. And <laughs> I don't I don't have to wake up tomorrow morning. I've got like nothing I'm doing tomorrow. So I was just like, hell yeah, late night, let's go. <laughs> but it does mean I'm going to be awake quite a while. I'm probably not going to bed until like 5 a.m., I think. Possibly, probably. But yeah, Mist is, Mist is a really old game. It's like, I remember like, uh, when was it that like the Masterpiece edition came out? Because I'm pretty sure that came out in like 2000 or something and that was like the remaster. Which, the, master, the Masterpiece edition. Yeah, that came out 1999. <laughs> it came out in 1999 and that was the remastered version. <laughs> So that kind of tells you how old it is. Uh, but the version I'm going to be playing today is um, a 3D remake, which uh, which came out in um, 2021. I think it was 2021. But uh, this is like the most recent remake, remaster, whatever it's called, that has come out. And I wanted to play this one because, like, I actually remembered it because... They they recently did a remaster of Riven, which is like the game after Mist, and that was released like a few months ago, like this year. And it reminded me, like, oh, I haven't I haven't played Mist in like a million years. Maybe I should check that out. And so now I'm finally getting around to it after after finishing the Talos Two DLC. <laughs> Moving on to another game. excited for it though hold on hold on what did i oh the temporary video game exhibit at the smithsonian museum had a display for mist that's really cool i love that also yeah sleep is a complex social construct anyway uh, my sleep schedule is already wrecked because uh i stayed up until 5 a.m on friday night uh joining daifuku in their apex tournament thing that they were doing and um I don't know how to play Apex, but I'm slowly learning through these tournaments that I'm just like throwing myself into. Like, let's just see how it goes. And uh, me and my duo, we actually ended up coming eighth out of like 22 teams. So I, th <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. I played Apex. I played it in like a, a custom lobby duos. And we basically just it, it became like rat party we were just hiding we were just hiding until there was like 15 teams left and then we were like okay now we emerge after they've like wiped each other out a little bit that's when we come out <laughs> and it actually paid off for us we came eighth <laughs> i still can't believe it because i'm incredibly bad at any kind of pvp game honestly i'm i just panic too much for pvp stuff like, I can be really good at aiming. Like, I could be so good if I'm going against, like, the computer. If I'm going against, like, AI, not actual human being characters. But as soon as there's, like, an actual person who ends up doing stuff I don't expect, I forget how to play a video game. It just goes. And then I die. <laughs> Which is the main reason why I don't really play PvP stuff. But yeah, I joined the Apex tournament because it was just, like... It was just for a bit of fun. It was... It wasn't super high stakes, and it was also like the points were weighted so that if you were unranked, you'd get more points than like a platinum rank player would for like the same stuff. And I actually got a kill 
which I didn't expect. I did not expect to get a kill in the tournament. I will fully say now that was thanks to my, my lovely duo partner, Gwen, uh, Asphodel Angel. They are so lovely. They were so nice to me. But uh, they played as Ash, and apparently Ash has a thing that can, like, keep somebody in place. So it was basically... <laughs> It was basically like Babby aim training, and they'd just like stasis the person for a few seconds and be like, okay, now you hit them, and it worked. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was fun though, it was a good time. I'm, I'm never going to be good at Apex. I'm probably not going to ever play Apex unless someone else makes me, but, uh, <laughs> but it was a good time. Anyway, where, where even was I? Oh, wait, yeah, Jack! Hello, welcome, welcome! Oh, one of your favorite old games is Ratchet & Clank on the PS2, but the only thing you remember of it is the water pipe running section. <laughs> you looked about to do it and the walkthrough just said get good. <laughs> what a great walkthrough, that's so good. Oh, Brie, you played the 2014 one where you still actually have the option to play point and click. Yeah, that's one thing I was wondering about this. I was wondering if there would be an option in the settings to be able to have it to, like, click through screens in the same way as the original, but that doesn't seem to be for this one. This is like the full 3D, you're walking around kind of thing. But uh, there is a setting as well though, where you can use the mouse to like, hold down left click to move forward and hold down right click to move back, which I think is quite cool. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm really curious to know how this is gonna turn out. Oh, you're a great sniper in a game, but as soon as you're forced to move and shoot at the same time, you fall on your face. <laughs> yeah, very understandable. I feel like if I have time to like line up my shots and the people don't move too much, I can do pretty well then. But uh, I'm mostly like a, a spray and pray kind of person. I just... <laughs> I go for guns with lots of bullets in shooter games, because then if I just shoot lots of bullets, maybe one will hit. <laughs> works every time except for when it doesn't but uh yeah anyway uh back to miss though i'm it's kind of funny because i remember playing this game on the ds and i also remember i don't think it was a good port i remember the controls were infuriating like i completed the game but the controls were so bad it was not like very fun to play. I don't even know why I kept playing it. <laughs> but I remember completing it. And I remember like having multiple moments when I just put my DS down and I was like, I'm not playing this. And then I went back and carried on playing it later. But yeah, I don't I don't remember anything about it. I don't remember like the the lore, the plot, the areas. I know there are areas. I know it's like the ages. That's all I remember. But I it's gonna be basically new to me. Like I've wiped my memory off it. <laughs> I'm excited though, looking forward to it. Uh, unfortunately, there won't be a real ribbon because Cyan took over the fan progress and made their new ribbon. Oh, so there's not gonna be an, op an option for one with like the the screens, that's a shame. But uh, hopefully the, the ribbon remake has been pretty good. I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. Also, Timochi, hello! Oh my goodness, Uncle Tim! Unky Tim is real! Oh my goodness, congratulations! Congratulations on your nephew! Oh, that's so sweet! Woohoo! Congratulations from me! That's so lovely! Oh, I hope I hope everyone's doing well. I hope the family and baby are doing well. But uh, thank you for stopping in! Welcome, welcome! Gonna raise him on VTubers. Yes. Yes, an early education. I approve. <laughs> But I hope you're doing well. I hope you've been having a good weekend. I guess it is good now. That's really exciting. That's so cool. Thank you for letting me know. I th Uncle Tim. I'm just going to call you Uncle Tim from now on. <laughs> oh, your new desk arrived today too. Nice. Nice. So you got a nephew and a desk. Which one? <laughs> no, I'm not going to ask which one you prefer. <laughs> That would be awful of me. But yeah, that sounds like a good weekend. I'm glad. I'm glad. I, I don't know why that was the first thought that came to my head. Just like, oh, a baby versus desk. 
Ooh. Oh, Brie, you're going to be choosing which Riven version to play based on what they changed in this newest Mist version. Oh, yeah, this can be like a good teaser because this is going to be like the a similar style to what the new Riven is like. So, like, if you hate it, then you will know to um, not get the new remake. But I'm excited for this. I'm looking forward to this. Also, Maru, hello! Welcome, welcome! How's it going? Yes, Mist is a classic. And it's just it's just so funny to me that I, I know I have played it, but I don't remember it at all. So it's basically like I'm playing a new game, which is very exciting. I say as I hover over new game. Right, let's go in. I'm, I've had enough of this ASMR wind, I think. Let's, <laughs> let's click new games. Oh. Uh, select your puzzle solution preference. If you're new to Mist, we recommend selecting classic. Oh, well, I don't want randomized. I want to. I want to go for like the classic puzzles. Not for like my my first playthrough. That is cool that that's an option though. Yeah, we're going classic puzzle solutions. <laughs> All you gotta say is you use the desk every day, but you won't see your nephew daily. <laughs> I mean, that that works either way, though, as well, because then it's like, well, that makes the nephew more special. Because you don't see him every day, so when you do, it's special. Yeah? <laughs> oh, good. Super eepy, but you must cook dinner. Oh, I hope you have a lovely dinner. See, I'm I'm always so lucky because every Sunday I get dinner cooked for me. Because it's when we have our, we have our Sunday roast every every dinner time, every Sunday. We have, like, a full chicken roast dinner. And uh, Xander cooks that, so I don't have to do anything. I don't have to make any food. It is provided for me, which is very nice. And it also means I'm really full whenever I do a stream. <laughs> like, I'm fully fueled up. It's great. Oh, you last played this in the 90s when it was vaunted as an interactive CD-ROM, fully immersive experience. I... Mm, I feel like I remember... I remember seeing CD-ROM of Mist, but I don't think I ever actually played it on my computer. I played it on my DS and it was bad. D don't don't play Mist on the DS. It's it's not good. <laughs> but yeah, that is really cool though. So you you can't just like memorize the solutions and go through. You you can have like randomized ones. It's very cool. Also confused Briar. Hello. Welcome. You are of an age. You remember ads for this game in PC gaming? Ah, oh, good times. Good times. Ah, oh, I, I love how this game is like revealing how uh, youthful everybody is. We're we're all very young and sprightly. <laughs> we're we're so we're so young and youthful. And um, don't worry about it. It's fine. It uh, time is fake. It's okay. Uh, you were too young and didn't understand English, so you couldn't solve the puzzle, so went back to playing Doom. <laughs> I love the thought of that. Just like, I don't know what's happening here. Boom. I shoot things. Good times. But yes, I'm going with classic puzzles. I'm not doing randomization. But uh, we'll have to see what the sound is like. It might be a bit loud. Ooh, ooh. Hello. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure that the book would not be destroyed as I had planned. It continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close, realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written. Hey. Hello. Press W to move forward. Oh my goodness. We can, we can move in 3D space. <laughs> But yeah, uh, one thing I did change as well in the settings, um, there's an option to have like the, the hand cursors, the hand pointers. So I immediately put that option on. 
as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need the hand. I need the little pointer. I need the, the hands very much so. But yeah, one thing I do remember about the game is like, it always felt really like scary to me. It felt like it had that kind of like spooky atmosphere to it. Anyway, mist. I think the sound is good. Let me know if I need to turn it down at all, but I think it should be okay. We shall see you. Also, Cab, hello! Yes, I got the pointer finger. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Mist in full 3D feels unsettlingly conceptually. Yeah, it's, it, it is a bit weird, but I'm, I'm excited to explore. It's going to be interesting to know how different the puzzles feel because I feel like when when there's like just a screen that you click around on it's it's probably easier to spot things. It's probably easier to like not miss stuff. Whereas when you can just like turn and look around everywhere, I feel like there's more of a chance of Okay, press escape to open the menu. Okay. Thank you tutorial. Okay. But yeah, like when you can when you have like full range to just look and move wherever you like. I feel like it's very easy to like look in the wrong direction and miss things. Anyway. Boop. Ho ho ho. Well, seems as good a place to start as any. Does that close it again? Yeah. Alright, is this where I came from? I, d I don't know what I'm doing. I'm immediately just in here. Oh. Oh, the music's great. <laughs> oh, the music's so good. I think I might have to turn the music down and time. No, I think it's okay, actually. I I'm not going to turn it down unless someone says it's too distracting. <laughs> anyway. Oh. -ho. Settings. Dimensional imager. Topographical extrusion test 40. Okay, now it's getting really loud. Okay, now it now now it's getting loud. <laughs> uh let's just go music a little bit 80. That suddenly had a big swelling of music there. It's still loud. Oh, did I not like... Why did... Let's go 60. Here we go. It still feels loud, but I, th I think that's much better now. <laughs> that just like really went so over the top then. Amazing. Anyway, topographical extrusion test, 40. Marker switch diagram, 47. Water turbulent pool, 67. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, 100 to 80 is nothing, good to know. It's always like the weird point of not knowing how much a slide is going to affect things. Cause like, as soon as I loaded the game up for the first time, like I loaded it up, everything was on like 100. I was deafened. I was deafened by like the splash screen as soon as the game opened. And like the first thing I did was like, I'm pulling that master volume all the way down. <laughs> It's always so interesting because then other times I'll end up um, loading up another game and I can hardly hear it when everything's on maximum. It is interesting. Also, Sadig Aliyev. Hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. College is starting in two days for you. Oh, good luck. I hope it goes well for you. I hope you have a, a good college time. Thank you for stopping in though. Welcome to Mist. At the moment, I am in here it's very cool right i'm wondering if i should write this down or not i oh should i get my notebook out is it time to get my notebook out i haven't actually played a game where i've made notes in quite a while i'm trying to remember when the last one was because i didn't make any notes for talos i didn't make notes for outer wilds because no i made like three notes for outer wilds but it wasn't like an active note-taking game. Uh, what else? What else have I played recently? 
It's been a while since I had a game that I was like actively taking notes in. Right, where's where's my notebook? Hold on. I found a notebook and it has blank pages. It doesn't have lines. Therefore, everything I write is going to be sideways. <laughs> Every single time I have a notebook that doesn't have lines, my writing just goes all over the place. But uh, there we go. I have notebook now. Let's, let's make notes. While the beautiful music plays. Also, Gigi, hello! Welcome! Dedication. I love making notes. I'm a, I'm a big nerd. I love notes. That's 40. Marker switch diagram is 47. Water turbulent pool, 67. I might not even need this. I probably won't. But I'd rather make notes on everything and not need them than not make a note on something and need it. Anyway, like that's that's probably just going to stay there the whole time and I can just check it when I need, but it's okay. Whew. Open it up again, please. Thank you. Right, so we're starting at the dock. Let's have a look around. Hello, a thing. I pull it. It is on. I hope. Oh, this is interesting. This this is so interesting, like walking around like this. <laughs> wow. Alright, and you go on. Let's try find all the switches. Oh. Go up here. You will go on. Can I go in here? I can go in here. Hello. Okay. Oh. And then this is the... Yes. Okay. How to get to the different ages. I see. I'm, I'm, I'm remembering like tiny bits the more I play, but I'm... <laughs> I'm it's honestly so funny to me how little of this I remember. <laughs> like, I, I never realize how bad a lot of my memory is until I try and remember things from when I was, like, um, undisclosed age. And I realize I don't actually remember anything. <laughs> oh, 2014 version didn't have volume sliders, so you're looking forward to actually being able to hear voices. Yeah, oh... Yeah, it's, it is nice that all of the audio sliders have their own, like, you can turn down the footsteps if you don't like them. There's, like, ambience dialogue. that They're all, like, separate things, which is very nice. And also, something I did here is I enabled using the hand cursor because I you need the little pointy hand and the, the reaching out hand. There's also legacy navigation where you can hold down a left mouse button to go forward and hold right mouse button to go back, which I think is really cool. I'm probably not going to use that, but I enabled it anyway, in case I feel like it. There's quick travel on ladders and hide vehicle transitions, which I think they're for like uh, motion sickness reasons. Like you will just immediately go from like the bottom of a ladder to the top or like you'll miss like vehicle stuff, which is really nice stuff to add to. And then I... I I don't even, I'm not even using a controller, so I don't know why I have that. <laughs> Got my rumble mouse ready. Yeah, my, uh, my, my five pounds mouse that I've used for years. I don't think it has rumble enabled. <laughs> also, sweet note, hello, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Glad you could pop in for a bit. How's it going? Happy Sunday. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I like that there's also teleport to safe spot. That's that's really nice if I accidentally like glitch myself out of the map. But yeah, it's it's really really interesting seeing it like this. Oh, but there was something else I enabled too, I think. Display yes, I did um classic video mode. This is an option on here because this is 
Uh, enabling this replaces all updated character videos with the classic FMV style videos from the original Myst. I wanted that. I wanted the classic videos. So I enabled the classic video mode. So we're not going to see like the updated character videos here. I wanted the FMV videos. <laughs> but yeah, that's enabled. And I don't know if I should have always show tutorials on. Uh, I'll leave it. I don't need that. But I put all the subtitles on because I am oblivious and need them. But yeah, I, I, I wanted the, the FMV videos. <laughs> Also, Thermopile, hello! Welcome, welcome! Oh, you played the original and the remake! Yes! Oh, I'm I'm really excited to play it. I have played it. I played the whole game when I was younger. I played it on the DS. Probably, like, the worst way to play it. In fact, I don't think probably. I think it's definitely the worst way to play it. But I genuinely don't remember any of it. <laughs> I don't remember it. I know I've played it, and I don't remember it. So this is basically a first playthrough for me, which is very exciting. Oh, hello. <gasps> hello, okay. What is this? That's an eye. That's a cross. That's a leaf. That's an arrow. Uh, DS Mist sounds great, honestly. It sounds like it would work really well, doesn't it? Until you realize um, it makes you use the circle pad, like the circle thing. It, it's, it wasn't the touch screen. You had to use like the horrible little circle joystick to move around and it I, I it baffled me baffles me it was not good <laughs> was no circle was it 3ds i don't remember i just remember i there was like the way of controlling it was really silly no was it like there's like the little thingy in the middle hold on i i need to like double check now be so funny if my memory is just completely wrong. No, it was like regular DS. What am I thinking of then? Like, how did it work? How did I control it? Or I remember the controls being terrible, but now I'm like, how? How bad was it? Ba, 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 ba. No, it was a touch screen. It was a touch screen one, but like the way it worked was genuinely like I say, like I've I've forgotten so much about this game. I feel like I I've kind of just blocked it out of my mind somehow. And like all I remember is like the, the controls didn't seem right. And I think I would have enjoyed it so much more if I played it on the computer. <laughs> If I just got the CD-ROM and played it on there, I would have had so much more fun with it, I think. But no, the, the, the DS wasn't good. And for some reason as well, like, it's an older game, so you wouldn't think the graphics would be bad, but I feel like they kind of made them look worse than the PC game would have looked. Like, th it was really bad. <laughs> But it's okay, because look at this now. I may have only had six pi six pixels on the screen last time I played it, but now I've got all of this. And it is so pretty, too. Right, anchor. Little bug. Little buzz. Snake. And an eye. Hmm. <laughs> right. What's going on in here? I feel like this is probably something I should write down to, but uh, you know what? I'll go back to it afterwards. Anyway, another lever. Don't mind if I do. Do I go in there yet? No, I feel like I should make a note of these symbols. <laughs> I'm going to make a note of the symbols. 
from this direction. We go little bird, and then there's the cross, and then there was the leaf. And then what was the last one? Arrow? Arrow. And then here there is anchor, little bug, little snake, and eye. Okay, I've, I've made a note. Ah, uh, oh, I can call you Thermo. I th thank you. I, I, I think like my brain is just not very good at reading today. <laughs> No, I think it's just like my brain in general, like recently, I don't know what it is, the past couple of weeks, it feels like I've forgotten how to speak. <laughs> like I'll, I'll be in the middle of a conversation and I'll try and say something and the only thing that comes out of my mouth is a garbled mess. So I don't know what's up with that. It's probably a sign that I should take more of a break than my, uh, my current break of, yeah, I'm going on a break from streaming. I'm still doing three streams a week, <laughs> but it's a break, trust me. But not yet, at least. I've got to. I've got to look forward to my birthday. It's going to be my birthday stream soon. I need to start making plans for that because that's like less than a month away now. <laughs> I have a few ideas of things I want to do, but I haven't planned much. Anyway, gravestone. Ha. <sighs> Yeah, oh, definitely an on-paper versus in-practice situation. Yeah, it's... Like, I, r I really love the DS. I love everything about the DS and the 3DS. They're, like, my favorite eras of gaming. I have so many fond memories of just, like, sitting in bed with my DS and my 3DS, playing games. I love the touchscreen. But, um... But it's the kind of thing where th there have been remasters of DS games and stuff, but they just kind of don't work when they're not on the DS. Like, when a game is made for the DS, you you kind of know it, it feels different. Like, I really enjoyed Ghost Trick. I think that was done really well. The remaster for that was done incredibly well to port it to PC and, like, Switch and stuff. But it's still not the same as having the touch screen and the two screens on the DS. There was something so special about it. Oh, and it is weird how much smaller the island seems when you can walk around it. It does seem really tiny. It seems so small. Like, I remember it feeling so huge before, but it's... There's, it's, it's tiny. You can just walk from one end to the other so easily. Oh, an advanced happy birthday! Oh! Are we both Virgo? We are. We are. I am also a Virgo. My birthday is September 7th. First week of September, but my birthday stream is going to be on the 8th. September 8th is going to be the birthday stream. <laughs> because uh, for my actual birthday, for the past however many years since being an adult, um, I've decided that the thing I want the most for my birthday is to do nothing. <laughs> So every year, my birthday treat is that I don't have to do anything, and we get takeout for dinner. We, we get uh, takeout from the lovely Chinese restaurant near us. We get delicious food, and that's, that's all I want. That's all I ever want for my birthday. <laughs> and then the stream's going to happen. That's going to be like the, the hype celebration. That's when I do a bunch of stuff. But yeah, I, I like my, my little like, yeah, I'm just not going to do anything. Right, what is in here? <gasps> Hello, use the space bar to take a picture. Whoa! You can access your photos through the menu. Oh, look at that! That's really handy! Yeah! That's so good. Oh, book? Note. Book. Oh, oh! Okay. Hello?
you. What? All right, uh, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, I don't know what you're saying. Books and rocks. Ooh. Ooh, hello. Here we go, yes. I have called this age Channelwood, and it is a very different world. Though it is exactly how I imagined it, it is still amazing to see it with my own eyes. Water covers this age as far as I can see, except for a small rocky island. Elsewhere, there are only trees which grow directly out of the water. A myriad of thin wooden passageways are built just above the water and disappear into the forest. I assume they were built some time ago, for they appear aged. I'm eager to discover more about this land and its people, but I've arrived here late and I must rest. I was awakened this morning by strange noises coming from a pathway adjacent to the one on which I had slept. I saw a group of monkey-like people heading in my direction. They had not seen me yet. I did not feel threatened by their presence. Their response to me was one that I would have never expected. After staring at me for a short time, they fell to their knees and began what appeared to be some sort of ceremonial worship. I tried to speak to them, but they did not understand my language. Instead, they indicated through it enthusiastic hand motions that I was to follow them. As we walked, I began to notice that the waters below us were changing colors. Slowly, subtly, they would change from deep blue to muddy orange, then from muddy orange to beautifully clear. I was so intrigued by the water, I hardly noticed that we had arrived at a ladder. Climbing the ladder led us to their village, which is about 10 meters above the water and can only be reached by rope ladders that stretch from the lower paths to the village level, approximately halfway up the Grand Trees. It is very interesting watching these people carry out their daily tasks. Even after watching them for hours, I did not understand exactly what they were doing. At sunset, they motioned for me to follow them. I followed the creatures to the doorway of an enormous hut. Strangely, once inside, I found that the hut appeared even larger than it had from the outside. <gasps> Tardis hut. The walls were garnished with bright metals, and in the center of the hut sat the leader of these people. At least, he appeared to be their leader, for he sat a meter off the floor on, in a thick throne. Guards surrounded the strong creature, who was dressed in many exotic, colorful fabrics. Next to the leader sat a very old human. At least to some extent he appears human. His hair, which was only on his face and head, was completely gray, almost white, and hung very long around his frail body. His thin head hung limply by an almost grotesque neck that could not hold its head up to look at me. But what a surprise, this creature could speak my language. Shortly thereafter, I was given a bed with some hand motions that looked to be telling me to go to sleep. I look forward to learning more. Hee <laughs> hee. Ah, uh, is there even any any devices these days that has audio visual static like that? I don't know. I don't know. I'll forget Zoomers. Think about Gen Alpha. Yeah, Gen Alpha would be the ones who haven't experienced that kind of interference. They'll just be like, "Oh, that's the um, that's the horror game effect, right?" <laughs> As I suspected, the ancient creature is a human, but he is old beyond his own reckoning and seems almost insane. However, the tree dwellers almost revere him as a god. They are treating me now in the same fashion, which makes me feel very uncomfortable. It is almost impossible to understand this old man. His voice is feeble but wild. He has adopted much of the language of the tweed... 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 tweed, tweed, tweed. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> the tweed dwellers. I, I can't read. What is happening? Huh. He himself told me he had not spoken our own tongue in ages. He attempted to explain to me the history of this place. The following is my best translation of what he has told me. Many years ago, the humans and tree dwellers lived together. I keep wanting to say twee again. This is awful. Lived together in this place, which was then a vast island. They interacted very little. The humans dwelt on the on the ground, and the tree dwellers lived high among, high above the humans. I can't read what is happening. I need more monster. I need more monster. That's what I need. 
Oh my goodness, my brain now just keeps saying Twee Dwellers. Ugh, why am I like this? Anyway, uh, the Tree Dwellers lived high above the humans. Occasionally, the island was disturbed by mysterious rumblings which happened randomly. Some sort of tectonic or volcanic action, I, su I suspect. The sometimes slight, sometimes heavy tremors would only last a short time. Then they would stop, allowing everything to return to normal. One day, things changed. The rumbling began and grew quickly to unprecedented levels. Soon, it became apparent that the entire island was sinking slowly into the ocean around them. Many of the humans died that day, but not before sacrificing themselves in order to stop the sinking of the island. The humans who lived through this catastrophe moved into the trees where they gradually died out. That's nice. Maybe because they were unequipped for such an environment, but I am not sure. This is the story the old man communicated to me, although many details are very unclear in my mind. I am especially confused as to how the humans saved the island from completely sinking. In fact, I doubt the accuracy of that part of the story. The island must have stopped on its own. Yet, the old man believes in the truth of the story as if he had been there. He probably was. And the tree dwellers worship him, and apparently all humans, as if he, they, were heroes or gods. The old man ended our conversation today with an event which I will never forget. He began gripping my hands tightly, murmuring something about rest and asleep. He then said, we had expected you to come sooner. These actions filled me with a sort of immediate dread. With much effort, he stood to his feet. I tried to help, but he pushed me away with more force than I imagined his frail body contained. The, 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 the tree dwellers quietly surrounded him with very solemn faces. They then kneeled before him. He walked to each and placed his hand on their heads. All the while, he murmured words which I did not understand. Finally, he turned to me and smiled. Then he closed his eyes and walked out the door and off of the narrow path, high into the trees. This is such a long book. <laughs> the tree dwellers were silent. They began a procession down the nearest rope ladder. As I was descending, I saw several of them pick up the body. He had fallen onto a lower level of walkway and carry it away. He was laying down at the dead end of a short pier-like structure. With the use of some potion, one of the tree creatures lit the pier on fire, and I watched as the flames engulfed him. As this strange funeral proceeded, the waters around the pier changed dull green. I keep wanting to say Tweed Dwellers, it's awful. Yeah, long book, but I I love it. I'm I'm here for the lore. Like any time there's this kind of like law in a story i i'm i'm just here like i slurp it up i love it feed me the law i love it <laughs> this morning i awoke finding it hard to even believe the previous evening's events <laughs> thank you for the uwu voice but i'm i'm going to say ahead of time i'm not going to uwu for all of the reading in here because i will perish I will perish. I can't, like, ooh, ooh all the reading. So uh, let me know if you want me to refund the points, or if you just want me to ooh, ooh when I'm done. But uh, I, I can't. I can't do it for the whole book. I can't. <laughs> but yeah, let me know, though. Like, if you want me to refund it, I can refund the points. Or I can just ooh, ooh when I'm done. I'm, I'm happy to do either. <laughs> Tell you what, as a compromise, I'll keep calling them Twee Dwellers, because that's actually easier for me to read. <laughs> Here we go. This morning I awoke, finding it hard to even believe the previous evening's events. The water is a dull green for as far as I can see now. For some reason, the water no longer shifts color. As I wander throughout the pathways, the creatures watch me, curious to see what I will do next. They are constantly offering me strange objects of affection. I even found food outside the doorway to the room in which I had slept. This is a unique race of beings. I hope to learn their language soon so that I may learn more from them. Oh, look, different pen. Just just to make sure you know that time has passed. <laughs> they lost their pen. It's a new pen now. I have lived on this world for three months off and on, and the Tweed Dwellers have shown great hospitality. I am even beginning to learn bits of their language. 
I have decided to return home for an extended stay with my loving wife and my sons, and hopefully return with them. However, I am sure Catherine will once again refuse. I think this age would be a wonderful experience for them all, and I at least look forward to how Cirrus and Achenar will react to its curious inhabitants. Catherine is staying behind, as expected. My sons have returned with me, and they enjoy this age very much. They get along very well with the Tweed Dwellers and are picking up their language surprisingly fast. I have no doubt that it will not be too long until they can speak with the Tweed Dwellers much better than myself. I am leaving tomorrow to check on as as Moian age. Cyrus has suggested that I allow him and his brother to stay. Though the idea unsettles me, I know the boys are growing up rapidly. The hospitality of these creatures is such that I could think of no better place to leave them alone for a short while, so I will consent to their request. I... They're not getting out of here then. <laughs> I warned the boys not to take advantage of the respect the Tweed Dwellers have for their ideas. They seem to understand my warning, and I have faith they will follow it. Much to my dismay, upon arriving in Everdunes, I learnt that Pran and her people are continuing to be menaced by the... Coctic? I fear for their survival and plan on returning to her shortly, uh, shortly after checking on Cirrus and Achenar here. Uh, see Everdunes' journal for more information. After watching Cirrus and Achenar, I see they are handling things very well, and I think I can put to rest any fears about leaving them in Channelwood again. And for a little longer time. The Tweed Dwellers seem slightly distressed that I am leaving, but are happy that Cirrus and Achenar are staying behind again. I have been gone for over three days and have been to many different places. I had to tell Cirrus and Achenar about Pran's death today, <laughs> and they were visibly shaken, although they only remembered her from their childhood. Catherine has suggested that it would be wise for Cirrus and Achenar to leave Channelwood for a while, and I have to agree. They will be returning with me when I leave again. I have told my sons that they will be returning with me in two days. They spent the entire night telling me of an adventure they experienced in my absence, and it was rather remarkable. It seems they constructed a boat with the creatures and traveled some ways out into the surrounding waters. I enjoy hearing them talk excitedly of their adventures, and I'm reminded of my own adventures as a child. I finally understand why the Tweed Dwellers have been giving me their many inks and insisting I write with them. Looking through some of my past entries, I see now that the inks have changed from the black I thought they were to various different colors. Okay. I have shown some of the creatures my journal, and they laughed and howled. I did not know they had such a sense of humor. Even now, as I look through this very colorful journal, I cannot help but laugh myself. We will be returning tomorrow, so my sons are with the creatures for the last night here. They have told me they would like to come to Channelwood again, and also asked if they can visit some other ages alone. Though I will have to think over their request, I believe they have proven to me that they are trustworthy and responsible. Catherine will also have to help me decide whether they are ready for travel alone. For now, I must give my farewells to the creatures, for I do not know how long it will be until I visit this age again. Taking a photo of that. Yeah. Yeah, look at this! Future bridge. Wow. Wow, what a cool journal. <laughs> Get pranked, just be like, hey, yeah, we, we gave you funny ink. Right here. Right, do I just keep reading for a bit, or shall I shall I wander and then, like, return to the books? Because these are going to be, like, for the different ages. Like, except this one. Thank you. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. I don't know if this is just giving me answers or hint stuff, but I'm I'm just taking photos. Then like if if I need them I have them. 
if I don't need them, I still have them. How many pages are there? Hold on. No, there's like there's so many here. Oh wait, no, no wait. Oh, 40, 47, 67. Hold on. Okay, forty. We're getting that one. Forty-seven. We're getting that one. And sixty-seven. I am so glad I made those notes. <laughs> and sixty-seven. There. There. I'm so glad I wrote that down. That's like the... The stuff from that first room. Because it mentioned 40, 47, and 67. And so now... I have the pages there. I also have a load of pages I probably don't need. But it's okay. I figured it out before I did every single one. <laughs> nice. What is... This? Oh. Sorry, I got it wrong. Whatever I did. Okay, th yeah, there's a there's a handle under that one. And a handle under that one. Oh, and then this is ba 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 ba. Ha ha. Hello. Right, before we do that, I I do want to look at this cuz I'm guessing it's going to be yep, similar to the red one. Let's have a look. Hi. Hello? Who are you? See you. Hi. Help me. Ring ring. Bloop. Bloop. <laughs> Bloop. Well, over here, he wanted red. Over here, he wants blue. Okay, oh, wait, hold on. Wait a second, I can move this. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I, I I wish someone would bring me bloop. I want bloop. Bring me bloop. Feels bleh adjacent. <laughs> it's a good noise. I feel like bloop is a good sound. Uh, oh, the dial is a much better interface than the click and hold for it to spin clockwise. <laughs> yeah, being able to like be here and then just like twist, twist, twist feels good. I don't know where I want to turn it to yet, so I'm just going to leave it pointing off away from the island for now until I have an idea of what I want to do with it. Yeah, okay, because then this is where I started. That was the room with the... Oh no, that yeah, there were the cogs there. That's the room with the device with the time panel. That was where there were all of the symbols along it. That's where I am now. And that was the place I didn't go into. It is. It feels so small. It feels way smaller when it's 3D. I don't know how that is. Like, seeing them as just static images, I, I feel like it makes the island feel so much more vast. But when it's 3D, you can look around at any point and it feels so small. It's so interesting. Anyway, I do want to go in here. So I'm going to go in here and see how this goes. Also, Gigi, thank you for the lurk as well. Gonna go lie down and chill. Oh, wait, foot golf? Is, is that like golf, but without golf clubs? But I, I hope you have a good lie down though. Thank you for the lurk. Uh, yeah, I think the fixed camera makes it feel grander in scale. Yeah, it really does. Anyway, now I will continue through here and Now I will do the Uwe voice. Now that I'm not reading all the books. Hi! Here it is. It's Uwe time. Okay, never mind. Uh, hee hee hee. I got so far. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's the thingy. It's the thingy with the squares. How do I, how do I view my photos? How do I do this photo album? 
I've got so many. Can I like delete these? I can. Okay, I can delete them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete the ones I don't need because I just, <laughs> I didn't realize how many there would be. I need to get rid of these. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I don't need you. I don't need you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. You are gone. Farewell. Farewell. Don't need all of these. I just need these ones. Okay, so what were the things? One of them was like topography something or other. One was like marker switch diagram. And one was like water something. I didn't actually write all of the notes. <laughs> I just wrote the numbers. But uh, let's try 40. Let's try 40. I'm not going to remember this. <laughs> I'm not going to remember it. No. I don't want to... No. I don't want to take the photo. I want to... Dot, dot. Da, da. I'm, I'm, I'm so bad at this kind of memorization. Like, I will look at something and then I will immediately forget what it is. The second is off the- Like, look here! I knew there was two in the corner and I still got it the wrong way! I'm so bad at this! I'm so- <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering anything! But it's okay. I'll get there. Doesn't matter how long it takes, I will get there eventually. And I think it's like that. Honestly, at this point, it would probably be smarter to just take a photo on my phone. Okay, so it's one- Two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, I don't I don't think it worked. I don't know what I was trying to do, but I you know what? I know it's here now at least. I've made progress in that front. I know that there's something there I can do there. We'll leave it for now. <laughs> Alright, let's keep looking. I still haven't looked around everywhere. I still haven't been, like, down here. For a start. Oh, ladder! Ooh. I will climb the ladder. Boop. Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. How do I go back down? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, oh, an actual footballs! Oh, wait, that sounds great, actually. Foot golf. Okay. Right, let's have a look up here. It's so interesting walking around, like, the 3D environment, because just, like, by the style of it, by the way everything looks, it feels like a point-and-click game. It feels like the kind of game where you would just, like, zoom from one spot to another. <laughs> so being able to just walk is very interesting. Boop. Boop. Nope. I, I think I've missed a switch somewhere. There's, there's going to be a switch I haven't managed to pull yet. Probably down, down the bottom, down this area. I also want to go back to these in a second and have a play around with them because I feel like some of them made different noises to others. So I want to play around with that a bit. Right. Oh yeah, here's another one. Boop. Oh, can I go in here? I can go in here. Oh, hello. Um... I don't I don't know then. Um. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Hands if I Can I can I I don't know what I'm doing, but the dial's not changing. I'm sure it's fine. Um <laughs> 
I'm sure it's okay. I'm just gonna um, leave leave that there for a bit. I th I think it's okay. <laughs> oh, I love these flowers though. Look at that. So pretty. Oh yeah, this is the what was the image on the on the wall. Interesting. That's a cool tree. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't light a match in there or stay in with the door closed. Yeah. It's, it's, I think it's fine. It's probably fine. Right. Oop. Oh, I can change the time. I don't know what time I need to make it. Yep. And I pulled that. Oh, I didn't actually go in here. Do I want to go down here? What is going on in there? What was that? Huh? What is- Whoa! What is going on in here? You mining? Ooh. Hello. Ah, oh, power. Power to ship, generator switches. Photo. Power and power to ship look the same. Oh, it's gonna be like the position on here. Okay, so that's power, that's power to ship. And these are the generator buttons. The generator switches. So what would happen if I do that? Okay, they both changed to 10. I don't know what amounts they need to be. I don't know if I just try things until they work or if I'm gonna find something that's like, ah, oh, these these have to be at this level. I'm gonna head back, I think. <laughs> it's so loud down here. It's so interesting. Right, I, I wanna have a play around with this stuff. All right. I heard like, it sounded like an insect buzzing. Oh no, they... Do they each make like, hmm. Right, I'm gonna turn them off and experiment. All of them off. Get out of here. What happens if I just turn this one on? Still the same noise. Okay, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I will leave them off for now. Right. I, I guess I do need to look at the other books, possibly. What else is there here? Because... Hmm. Because I can't seem to power these up yet. Oh, I, I can climb up here. If it'll let me, there we go. Oop. No. That's connected. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna like see how much power I can get. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna check out all the generators and see what they do. <laughs> I'm gonna experiment. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Right, yes, yeah, so power and power to ship. So I wanna I wanna power up the ship, so right, that's the first button. I would say ten. Now it's seventeen. Now it's twenty-five. Hold on, I'm gonna start writing these down. Okay, this one is ten. This one is seven. This one is eight. Sixteen. Five. I don't know how much power I need. One. Two. Twenty-two. Okay. Okay. 
19. A 9. Okay. Alright, I've got the... The amount they send. Is there, like, a maximum? I wonder. Like, what would happen if I just, like, flick all of them? Okay, that went over. Okay. Whoop. Oh, hold on. What happened there? Is it this one? Hmm. A zap. They're zapping now. When I do two of them. What did I do? I think I broke everything. Right, because now I'm pressing them and this one isn't going up. Am I going to have to make the dials match? No, I don't think so. What have I done here? Right, which was the biggest one? That was the biggest one. 22. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna go outside now that I just um, broke everything and see if anything has changed. Cause that was quite a big zap. Cause yeah, cause then this will power up and I'll be able to flick these switches and send it to the ship. Hmm. See, I'm thinking now it's probably worth looking at the other books, but that's uh, so much reading. <laughs> I want to do more than just read, but also, like, I want to read them all. <laughs> I am torn in, like, the dilemma of, like, I want to read all of the books, but I also don't just want to read all of the books at once. Think of the law. I know I want the law. I just. I want to space out the law, but I don't think. I, I think I need more information that might possibly be in books. It also possibly may not be. It, there, there could be nothing in there except law. Because there's also these switches too. Like, I pulled that and it made a noise, but what if I pull this one? Ooh. It did that. Okay. All right, let's go in here then. Oh, hello. Elevator. To the library, nope, okay. Okay, never mind. Hmm, what if I pull that one now? Oh, I think that just puts it back. Okay, so it's like an open and close. That makes sense. Because what else is here? Oh yeah, it's like when I'm discovering things, they're being added to the map. So that's cool. That's very cool. Because like now that I've actually visited this area, it's showing up on this map. Right, now the question is like, do I start by just like pointing this at something? It went red like pointing towards some of these things like when it points to that when it points to that little circle down there when it points to the big tree and the ship Let, let's go for the tree no let's go for like the docks to start with because i'm like right here let's see what happens if i do that yeah it is so much reading oh i swear this is the game that made you dislike reading in games oh i love it though i I love reading in games. It's just a little bit different when you're like reading it out loud. <laughs> Cause I'm a, I'm a very fast reader. I'm like a, a half scan reader. Like I kind of skim through text, but I still take in all of the text as I'm like scan reading it. I'm a very fast reader, but obviously I can't speak at the same speed that I read at. <laughs> Otherwise I would, just have like found my true calling as a rapper instead of <laughs> instead of this 
But yeah, oh, it would also be easier with a different typeface. It is a little awkward to read sometimes with the, the handwriting. But it's okay. Is there anything else in here? Because there's one, two, three, four, and then this was where I saw the... These. Hmm, still not sure what to do with that. All right, let's tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick, a quick, like, just a skip through. I'm not going to fully read it. I will read it eventually. I just want to, like, see if... Oh, submersible lamp. Light. Stone ship age. Haha. -ha. Constellations. Oh! Oh, hello! This is relevant to my interests. This is relevant to my interests, because this is the, um, the buttons I have. So I'm just gonna keep note of this. Take photos. And uh, I will return to read these afterwards, but I'm gonna, like, have a little break between them. Like, we'll have a little reading session, and then I'll wander around and get lost again. And then we'll have another reading session. Right, I don't see any stars at the moment, so, um... <laughs> it's too cloudy and daytime to see any constellations at the moment. But that's okay. Right, well, I pointed the tower this way. I see it up there. Did it do anything? Oh, look at all the seagulls. There's so many of them. Oh. Hmm. I feel like there's got to be something I can do around here. Right, I'm gonna go back in here and have another look. Boop. With the dramatic music. Yeah, cause here, settings, dimensional imager. I'm most interested in the marker switch diagram. So that would be 47. So I'm gonna try and figure out what, what's happening in in that room if I can <laughs> we'll see ah uh, memories are so fragmented but you can kind of remember some of the things the gadgets do see I'm like I thought I would remember more like as I started playing it I still don't remember anything <laughs> like I vaguely remember the different ages but it's it's all so blank to me. It's so wild. It is like playing this for the first time. It's so cool. Oh, the gas leak room twigged a, a brain memory for you. Nice. Yeah, I'm genuinely amazed at myself at my lack of recognition. But, uh, right, let's let's figure out what's going on in here because it's got to be something. Boop, boop, boop. Right. Now what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to load this up, get the photo. I'm going to take a photo of the photo on my phone so that I can reference it like right in front of me. Because <laughs> my memory is so bad I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you know what? You're right. I need to like just have it stop being daytime. That's all I got to do. Okay. Okay, I have the photo on my phone now so I can reference it right in front of me. So now I know I go boop boop boop. Da 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 da. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. This one would have taken me so long to do as well. I would not remember any of it. It's like that. Question is what do I do now? Because I put it in, but I can't seem to do anything. Like, nothing is happening. And, like, if I press the button, I'm pretty sure it just opens it again. Yeah. It... 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, just have it stop being daytime. I say it, 10.20 p.m. <laughs> Unless it's actually like the opposite way. No, I, I don't think it is. Looking at the diagram, I, I don't think it would be. It's probably just going to be something completely unrelated. It's going to be like there's just one specific one that I can do here. I wish I could just go through here. It would be nice. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'll leave that for now. <laughs> the corners look like smiles. They do. It was actually the first thing I thought when I saw them. It reminded me of, like, the Cheshire Cat. Like, the Cheshire Cat smile, like the big grin. Little smiles in all the corners. It's very nice. Hmm. Right, let's, uh... Let's have another look in here. So we have this. <gasps> Wait, just make it be night time? No, it's not night time. <laughs> Okay, goodbye. I, I went to walk back in and the door shut on me. <laughs> That's so rude. Oh no, it isn't here now. I can see stars on the ceiling. <gasps> oh, let me shut the door. <gasps> oh, look. <gasps> oh, there's so many stars. <gasps> oh. Have a look at my photos. I didn't mean to close the whole album. Wait, there's that. There's that. There's that. Which of these does it look most like? It's like these one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if it matches any of these. Doesn't feel like it super matches anything. I probably need a specific like time and date, which I don't have. Also, the music is so great. It's probably in that book. If the, the date is probably in the book that I haven't read yet. <laughs> uh, you know what? It's reading time. It's reading time again. Who's ready for story time? Boop, 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 boop. Story time. It's not as long as the last book though, I think, at least, which is very nice. <laughs> yeah, the, the photo album is very handy. It's a very cool, cool thing to have added. I love it. All right, here we go, story time. Emmett was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that is what they were. A group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. This was where Emmett lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmett would occasionally swim to nearby rocks as it was never too far of a distance. One day, another person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason to Emmett. Emmett named this new person Branch. Emmett and Branch quickly became friends, swimming and hunting for fish together often. Emmett showed Branch the simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock soon. Oh, oh no, soon is the next part. It, I didn't see the, the full stop there. The font, ah. Where he lived on the largest rock. Soon, Branch discovered a place where he decided to live, also on the same large rock. The sun always shone brightly in their world, 
and the water was always dazzlingly clear, allowing them to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them. Though the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A light breeze always came from the north and cooled the area down. One day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in the water, he noticed another boy swimming. Branch brought the new boy to Emmett to find out what to call the new boy. Emmett said the boy should be called Will. Will was soon a part of the group, and all three of the boys swam and enjoyed their perfect world. At least, that is the story I was told when I arrived today on the island. Emmett, Branch and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing happened. It was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing and relaxing, re what? What? Relaxing under a large tree on one of the smaller rock islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for almost uh, about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful, yet they obviously still feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave the following day. I told them that while I was gone, I would make a surprising change in their world. They didn't understand, not that I expected them to. I still do not fully understand what happened today. I was experimenting with the art, testing the limits of the rules as di dictated to me by father. I attempted to create a boat by writing it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Although this test did not turn out as I had hoped, I now have answers to a few of the questions my father never answered. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoy it anyway, and with that I am pleased. They have played on it all day. Even though the boat cannot move, I have enjoyed studying from it. It is a much sturdier platform than the jagged rocks. In the course of my observations, I have learned some very interesting things regarding the solar system of this age. Nice submersible lamp. The nights are absolutely beautiful here. I have made notes of and named a number of constellations that pass above me. Also during the night, I catch glimpses of light from the horizon, which I have not been able to discover if it is created by some natural phenomenon or by additional people on far off islands or rocks. I should very much like to discover which. I rather suspect it is additional people, which would explain the appearance of Branch and Will. The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the thunder and lightning. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I have also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light toward the horizon, it might prove my suspicions regarding additional inhabitants. They would be curious about the light and travel to discover its source, if they have the means. Nice. I returned with many tools that I will need for construction of the lighthouse. I have decided that once the lighthouse is completed, I will leave for some time and let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse now and are making great progress. The rock that we are building on seems to not be as secure as I would like. I have had to alter my plans slightly, but these alterations pose no real problem. Light. Light on the top. The boys are quite strong and have been helping me immensely. I estimate construction will be done within two days. The lighthouse is finished and we are all proud of our creation. The boys are amazed at the structure wrought from rock with their own hands. That evening we powered up the generator, much to the boys' dread at first, and shined a great light to the horizon for many hours. I stayed the night in the top of the lighthouse, and in the morning awoke to observe the sunrise without my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew I had become accustomed to. <laughs> it was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the boat where Will was getting ready to hunt for fish. Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbours. I feel pleased to leave this age. I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art, 
that will have a more profound impact on this world than I could have ever written. I think... Oh, I think... Stoneship Age. Look at that! Let's take a photo of that. Look at that. Oh, there it is. Uh, I think of it, this age, as a gift to myself that I will wrap up and open someday in the future, only to discover that it has changed so much that indeed it is a surprise. Besides, I have yet another new age that awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age, and so much planning is in order. Boobadoobadoo. It has been ten years since I left this age, which I have since called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The original three boys have grown into adults, and there are many new faces that I do not recognize. Branch told me that it has not rained for seven years, and the cool breezes are back again. They are all very content and have been serving me with new foods and showing me new materials they have discovered. It even seems they have found gold somewhere. I see it in the many forms around the island. My lighthouse has been kept in perfect condition, and it looks as if they have tried their very best to keep it so. Yet, I have noticed that the entire rock it was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder aloud with them what things will be like here in another 10 years. And then we got the constellations. And the constellations match the buttons. So that is interesting. Right, let me have a quick look at these. I'm not going to read all of it yet. I'm just going to have a look for sneaky diagram things. Ooh. 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 I haven't seen a piano yet, but ooh. Okay. And a quick skim through of this one as well until I read it. Cool. Cool. Power. Truck slopes. Cool. Nice. Okay. The, the power of clues. <laughs> right. I, I still feel like I need way more information than I have. I need so much more information. I feel like being able to move the... The tower here. Like, the way it, like latches onto things like it latches onto these gears it latches onto the the circle down at the dock the tree and the ship i'm gonna start there let's move it so it's pointing at these gears and see if anything happens Let's have a look. Has anything changed here? No, I can see it. I can see that it's turned. But I can't seem to do anything. Hum. Right. Right, let's go back. I think I've turned all of these on now. I don't think I've missed any switches. Wait, now let's let's have another look, another look in here. Right. What happens if I just like fully? Whoop. Okay, I can't move it any further than that. I can fully turn it off though. Okay, so doing that, it's off. Doing that, it's on. But there's no pressure. Gas is on, but there's no pressure. I also don't know what the combination for that is. I'm turning it off again, just because leaving it running doesn't seem like a good idea. Da, 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 da. Go like that. And... Yeah. Oh, I... There's a switch over there. I need to get over there. Can I just, like, change the time? What happens if I press that? Hmm. It's 
I'm making a lot of noises. I don't think it likes this. Okay, yeah, that was making some horrible noises. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Oh, it would be so cool to be able to just write a book and go into it. I do think it would be like a very cool power to have. But also at the same time, uh, I've played Alan Wake. I, I know how it could be like a, a double-edged sword. It, it might not always be good. <laughs> hmm. Right, you know what? You know what? Um, light on the tree. Light on the tree. Let's move it that way. There we go. <laughs> yeah, fell on wing. Yeah, that, that's when it all goes wrong. That's when you, you don't want the ability to be in a story you've written. Ah, oh, the Alan Wake games are great, though. I, I love the story in those games. I'm very bad at actually playing them. I just watch other people play them. But I like them. Right. Let's see. Tree is still just a tree, I think. Just a tree. Boop. Right, because here, it's... That's the tree. What if I turn it on now? Okay, you know what? I'm leaving the gas on. I'm leaving it on. Who knows what'll happen? Not my problem. Hmm. Alright, I'm going back here. I'm going to go back down and play with the, the power options down here. It's the only other thing I can think to do at the moment. It's here. Right, because now, like, it's not sending the power to the ship anymore. And it's sparking whenever I press him now. A little sparking. Hmm. Oh my goodness, Nui Raid! Hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome on in, Nui! Lyriel One Wilds, Lyriel One Wilds, <laughs> yeah. Lyriel One Wilds. <laughs> oh, I'm glad the text to speech is working today. Hello! Thank you so much for the raid! Oh my goodness, you are playing Phoenix Ride. You are playing Trials and Tribulations. I love that game. I love the Phoenix Ride game so much. I oh, I love Ace Attorney. How's it going? How was the stream? How did it go? Did you have fun? Which which case were you doing? I'm s <gasps> Finish case two. Nice. Oh, that's I, I love that game. It's been a while since I played it. I kind of want to replay them all at some point. But uh, I... Um, I have a lot of games to play. <laughs> I always forget. But uh, thank you so much for the raid. For anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK. And I love comfy games and puzzle games. And today I'm playing one of the... One of the, like, classic puzzle games. I'm playing Myst. But it's a 3D remaster of it. But uh, this game came out a very, very long time ago. It's a very old game. And I know that I have played it at some point in my life. But I genuinely have no memory of it. <laughs> the only thing I remember is the fact that I did play it. I don't remember anything else. So it's it's fully like a pretty much a blind playthrough. Pretty much. But uh, thank you for the raid though. And also if you have to head off, I do realize it's very late. So if you gotta get some rest, get some sleep or like food or drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you do want to stick around, I'm just stuck at the moment. <laughs> but yeah, welcome in, Raiders. Welcome in. Uh, to be fair, you'd forgotten everything about Case 2. Yeah, I, th I think that's how I'm going to be as well when I replay Phoenix Ride. I, I, re I remember the characters, but I never remember like the details of the cases. So it's really fun like re relearning it again. Rediscovering it. But yeah, this game was old when this world was young. A very old game. Well, this one is. Like, in terms of, like, video games, it was on the early end of the spectrum. Like, <laughs> like 
Like the remaster came out like 15 years ago, 25 years ago. Yeah, the remaster came out 25 years ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you liked the door knock redeem as well. Come on in. Everyone is welcome in. At the moment, um, I've broken stuff. I have like a power generator situation here. And I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with it. And I'm not sure. It's great. Oh, I'm trying to make it through before the Edgeworth games drop. Oh, yeah, because that's coming out soon. I forgot how soon that is. Uh, oh, boy, do you have memories of not having a plan what to do at all times? <laughs> yeah, I've gotten to the point now where I'm like, I'm not sure what I'm doing. So I'm going to keep wandering around and hope for the best. I think I have to read books, but I'm putting that off because I've already read two of them. And I don't want to wear my voice out too soon. <laughs> but yeah, I, I first played this on the DS when I was younger. And it was rubbish on the DS. It was not a good way to play it. But I also don't remember anything about it. I just... It's... Like, I thought it would come back to me as I was playing it. I thought, like, as I was playing, I would, like, remember some of the situations and things. And none of it is coming back to me. So it's... It really is, like, a, a new first-time blind playthrough. Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember any of it. It's great. Uh, you played some version of Mist with your grandma when you were young. <laughs> yeah, it got stuck, don't even know where. I think it's very easy to get stuck in a game like this. But it's like, it's one of like the, the earliest puzzle games. Like, one of the pioneers. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm really excited to be playing it though. It's a lot of fun. Like, I'm not quite sure what I've done here, but uh, it's it's probably fine. Like, I don't know how much power I need, but I think, like, if I activate all of them, it's, like, 99. That one's zapping now. What if I just turn that off? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna, like, turn some on and off and see if they interact with each other. I'll turn that on. It's gonna be the one, like, right at the back. That sparks. That sparks. That sparks. They all spark if I do that. I wonder if that means 19 is too much. I'm going to experiment with like the lowest amounts. So if I do just like a one and two, it still sparks. Hmm. Hmm. Like I don't I don't know if I've just like powered it up enough. Maybe I have actually already sent the power to the ship, because I haven't actually been back to the ship since I like blasted this with power, so maybe Maybe I go there and have a look. Maybe <laughs> Maybe I go check. It might be open. I don't think it will be. I feel like I have to do more with these power lines, but can try. Bup, 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 bup. Yeah, it still doesn't work. Right. Babe. What would happen if I just pull that? Absolutely nothing. That's what happens. Also, Airlet, hello! Thank you so much for the resub for 28 months. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you for the boop as well. I appreciate the boops. But uh, welcome, welcome. Oh, you played this on a Windows 3.1 computer. <laughs> oh, wow. I, th I think, like, my first PC was a, a Windows 95. I think it was a Windows 95. But um, we only got that because it was like... I think it was like a work thing from my dad. He got it through his work. I don't remember. I don't I don't remember how we got our first computer. But I have really fond memories of um on that computer. I would 
I would open up things like Word and I'd make magazines. Like my, the first things I would do online was like, I, not even online, just like on the computer. It didn't have internet. Like I would make magazines. I would make like a little crossword puzzle. I would write fake articles. I would then connect it to our printer, print them off and staple them together and make like a little, a little baby magazine. <laughs> And I have so many fond memories of that. I was always so proud of that. Like, I'd make weird little, like, circle tool images, like pictures, and be like, this is a coloring book now, color it in. <laughs> Fun times, good times. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I'm missing now. It's like, I feel like... I, I need to get over there, but I, I can't do that when the water's here. So that makes me think i got to change the time. But what to? Do I just go, like, where it's loudest? just silent now. What have I done? Did I break it? That's really loud there now. And now it stopped again. What have I done? What am I doing with this? Yeah, I don't I don't know what I'm doing with this clock. I need I need to find something that references the time. <laughs> has to be something. Probably in a book, I would presume. Also, Weekend Whaler, thank you for the follow too. Welcome on in. Thank you for following. I hope you enjoy your time here. Yeah, I wish I could just swim. Like, it, it's not very far. I feel like I should be able to. It's so sad. Right, what if I, what if I point this at the ship? Whoop. No, I don't want to open that up yet. Alright, that's pointing towards the ship now. I, d I don't think that's actually doing anything, though. Right, I guess it's story time again, because I don't know what else I can do. Hee <laughs> hee. Right, let's go for this one. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're getting more lore. It's more story time. I love how I was like, I want to separate the books. So I'm not just reading all of them in one go. And now I'm like, I don't know what to do. I think I'm just reading them all in one go. <laughs> it has been a while since I have heard only silence. And I enjoy it greatly, I think. For some reason, I do not feel altogether welcome in this new world in which I have arrived. But how could I be welcome in an age with no inhabitants? It is, of course, only in my head. This world is very beautiful, but I think I have yet to ever write in a journal that an age I have linked to is horrid or disgusting. From the grassy hill where I am standing, I can see green fields below, along with a few scattered forests. A rather large lake looms some distance from where I am standing, yet the water's blue can be seen plainly from here. The air is fresh and the sky is sparkled with white clouds. It is absolutely breathtaking. And yet, that strange feeling again. Perhaps it is the hot breeze that continues to blow from the north. Hotter than I would have imagined, it almost singes my skin. And I feel quite uncomfortable when it comes. I will try to ignore it. Night has almost arrived and the sunset is spectacular. Oranges and reds have settled above the western horizon. Though night has come, the horizon still glows red long past the sunset. Dark reds flow from the horizon and blend into the black sky. Again the feeling, and I am beginning to believe it is, not all in, uh, it is not all in my mind. I must sleep now. I will need my strength to explore more tomorrow. I have had to return home due to an unpredictable natural occurrence more frightening than I have ever experienced. I was awakened by terrible shakings in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. 
gigantic balls of fire. Oh my goodness, Thermo, congratulations on the first. <laughs> I was wondering if anyone would notice that. I was wondering if anyone would notice that it hadn't actually been redeemed this stream. <laughs> congratulations on the first. <laughs> yeah, people were typing in chat, but nobody actually redeemed it. So yeah, you were the first to notice that one. <laughs> it's so funny because it's usually sniped within like a second. But this time, I, th I think people presumed it had already been redeemed and just kind of gave up. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Explosions. Uh, terrible shakings in the ground and explosions on all sides of me. Gigantic balls of fire were falling from the sky and I immediately left in fear of my life. I must remember to bring a mist linking book with me when I return in case the one left there has been destroyed or damaged. Oh, oh, oh. I have returned to a different world than the one I left only three months ago. It has been transformed into a barren desert land, with only gigantic craters scattered across the land to provide variety. Strangely enough, the small grassy hill where I spent my first night remains exactly the way I found it. Apparently the falling meteors did not hit this area, leaving an oasis in the midst of this horrible desolation. The hot wind, I remember, has turned into a rather pleasant breeze, which is at least one improvement. I fear it is the only improvement. The magnificent lake I saw on my first visit is now completely dried up. However, another lake now exists, and appears to be quite a bit larger. I assume one of the falling meteors created this lake due to its circular shape and the jutting rock that grows out of the centre of the lake. The rest of this world seems like desert, although I will verify that statement with closer inspection. Though this world has little visual excitement to offer, it offers much to the ears. Sounds constantly flow through my ears and I have found where a few of them originate. It seems, as Catherine says, I do find beauty in everything. Last night I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating and the heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. Oh my goodness, a raid! Idol raid shadow legends. <laughs> nice. Nice. That was that's a good raid message. Hello, raiders! Hello! Hi, Pixie! Welcome! How's it going? Thank you so much for the raid. How was the Sonic? I hope you had fun playing Sonic. Welcome on in! Welcome, welcome everybody! Welcome, raiders! To anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games, and today I am puzzling. I am also puzzled. <laughs> I, I am trying to be big brain, and I'm very stuck, so it's become story time now. I'm simply reading books. I found a bunch of journals, so we're having like a big, a big mist lore dump session as I read. <laughs> But thank you so much for the raid. Oh, you finished it in one sitting. Oh my goodness. Wait, how long did that take you then? How long have you been streaming? But uh, thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. I very much appreciate it. Oh, only three hours. Oh, thank goodness. I was, I was worried you were going to be like, yeah, I've been streaming all day. <laughs> I'm glad you managed to, to finish it though. I hope it was good. Hope you had a good time. Yeah, I'm currently playing Myst, which is... One of the, like, the OG puzzle games. This game came out, like, 30 years ago. <laughs> but there have been, uh, three, there's been a 3D remaster recently, so that's what I'm playing at the moment. And I'm, um, I'm just wandering around the island at the moment, not sure of what I should be doing. Wait, oh, did I know that this game had such a cult following in the 90s that some people actually made birthday cakes that look exactly like Mist Island? <laughs> that's really cool, though. That is so cool. I would love a cake like that. Oh, uh, you watched a friend play this once and some of the puzzles are nuts. Yeah, I'm... I have played it before. I've played it before in the past, but, like, I've genuinely managed to wipe my memory of it. I don't remember anything. I thought that, like, as I got into it, as I started playing, I thought I was going to, like, remember things and be like, oh, yeah, I remember this moment. Nothing has come back to me. I don't remember anything. <laughs> But it's kind of nice, because it's making it like a, a completely fresh new experience. Oh my goodness, another raid! Hello! 
another another pixie raid I've, I've just been raided by two people with pixie in the username that's so great hi danny thank you so much for the raid welcome welcome how's it going i hope you're doing well two pixies two pink pixies double pink pixie raid that's, <laughs> that's the best but hi danny thank you for the raid how's it going how was the the final fantasy 7 I hope you had fun with it. Thank you for bringing the raid this way. Oh my goodness. Is is this like a, a destined meeting? Are you are you meeting in my stream? Am I <laughs> Am I being like the bringer of fate? Like, hey, you two should get to know each other. Welcome. <laughs> but yes, thank you for the raid. Welcome in raiders. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And um, I say I'm puzzling at the moment. I'm, it's story time. I'm reading books. <laughs> I got stuck, so I'm reading books. But welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. I hope you had a good stream. Oh, I hope I had a nice time at Vexpo too. I did. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. I'm, I'm excited to go again next year. It's like, it's not an if, it's a, it's a when. It's like, if it happens next year, I'm, I'm going. There's no way I'm not going. Because it was a lot of fun. It was so good. But yeah, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. But yeah, so if, if anyone has to head off, I, I know it is getting quite late. So please don't feel like you have to stick around because you raided. Like if you need to go uh, s sleep, <laughs> then that is completely fine. Please look after yourself. Get like food and a drink. But if you do want to stick around, I'm just um, reading missed law books. <laughs> But yeah, it, it is like incredible to me how I genuinely don't remember this game, even though I know I played it. Like I, I, I know I played it because I actually found out my missed DS cartridge the other day to prove that I had it. <laughs> but yeah, I just don't remember anything. It's so wild. But yeah, I'm hoping I will figure something out soon because teehee, teehee. But yes, thank you so much for the raids though. I really appreciate it. And if anyone decides to stick around, um, it's comfy story time now. I say comfy story time. This is like a, a desert volcano. Um, I'm sure things are fine. I'm sure it's okay. <laughs> ah. Yeah, there, there can be only 1,000. Yeah, I, I find it so funny how like there's some situations where people are like, oh my goodness, you have the same name as me. There can be only one. Perish. And then there's other people who are like, oh my goodness, we have the same name. We are now besties. <laughs> it's like me when I see like another pink cat VTuber. I'm just like, I'm a pink cat. You're a pink cat. We are now friends. Pink cat solidarity. <laughs> Honestly, just pink in general. Like if, if anyone has a pink design, I'm just like, yeah, we have good taste. We're pretty cool, huh? <laughs> The pink squad. Wait, I just realized as well, because uh, Nue also raided me and they are also pink. I've just had like three pink raids and I'm also pink. It's perfect. It works out so well. It's just pink time. I love it. And British Nap, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. Decide, uh, I was about to say a sentence. It didn't quite happen. Uh, I'm glad you decided to stick around. Thank you. <laughs> it's okay. Earlier I was reading one of the books in this and it referenced uh, tree dwellers. And I could not stop saying twee dwellers. I, my, my mouth just wanted to say twee the whole time. I just don't know how to speak. But that's okay. It doesn't matter. Oh, you do follow a lot of pink hair people. It's, it's good. It's good. I, being pink is a good thing. Other colors are also good, but uh, I, I have a soft spot for pink. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can speak sometimes, I swear. It's like, I feel like I should be able to read better. Like, it's Puzzle Sunday. I've been saving the brain cells. I should know how to speak. And yet here I am talking about the Tweed Dwellers. <laughs> uh, let's, let's get back to reading, though. I'm going to have a, a sip of my monster and then resume... Be very, very quiet. <laughs> What's up, Doc? 
can't hunt me. I'm not even a rabbit. Right, where was I? Yeah, it was... Okay, it was here. Last night, I was awakened by a horrible hissing. I was sweating, and the heat was so intense that I immediately dipped my head in a nearby stream to cool it down. The hot breezes had returned, along with a, long, a low roar from the ground. I walked a short distance to observe some red flames shooting up from the earth. Suddenly, the ground began to crack and a huge chasm opened. The chasm continued to grow until it was far too wide to cross. Then the tumult subsided, leaving only a dull roar. I have decided, however, I can use the chasm to my advantage. Perhaps the heat from the chasm can be harnessed. Ooh. Thermal energy. Thermal energy, eh? Yeah, collect heat. There's the chasm. Get that heat. Channel that. Yep. Is that a number? How big is that? I, I, I can't see that number properly. Is it like... Is, 43? I don't know. I'm going to write down 43 just in case. Randomly somewhere on my page. <laughs> Thermo, hi, yeah. Thermal energy. Also, ah, yes, caffeine. You poured Coke into your mug that you usually drink coffee from. It still had coffee. Oh, no. Oh, no, that doesn't sound like a very appetizing drink. <laughs> See, that that's why I have a lot of drinks in cans and bottles. And like, if I have a bottle of something, I, I know that like I empty it out and fill it in, and then I don't just put anything else in it. It's just the bottle for that. But yeah, I got my can of monster at the moment. My 11 p.m. monster. Let's go. I'm, I'm gonna be so energized for reading this book. <laughs> Even as the chasm has ripped into the surface of this world, it has opened up a whole new world to explore. Although uncomfortably hot, I found it possible to reach a cave in the chasm that had been created, and have now explored deep into the crust of this planet. I have found a vast underground cave system that will take many years to map and explore. I will also look for a safer way to reach the underground than through the chasm wall. This age seems to change on its own, so I feel I should leave again and see if things are different when I return. It is also important that I check on Cirrus and Akonar and make sure everything is going along well. When I return, I also hope to bring back some tools I will need for my plans to explore the underground. Yeah, bring the pickaxe along. <laughs> Having an 11pm monster is so powerful. Uh, see, I, I, I kind of cheat a bit. I'm, I'm a little bit of a cheater because I have ADHD, so caffeine doesn't affect me <laughs> the same way it does with other people. Like, I can drink a can of Monster and then fall asleep. It it doesn't, like, keep me awake. It just kind of, like, makes my brain a bit more alert, I think. But yeah, I, I can have, like, a whole energy drink and then just be like, nap time, good night. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Uh, the abundance of raw materials here is beginning to amaze me. I have returned with some of the complex tools I knew I would be needing. Yeah, your beverage goblin. Oh, I'm I'm the same. I usually have multiple different drinks around me. Oh, I'm gonna head to bed now. Oh, thank you so much for the raid though and for stopping in. I hope you sleep well. Have a lovely rest. I hope you have sweet dreams of uh pink. <laughs> pink what? Just pink. Everything pink. The best kind of dreams. But thank you. Good night. <laughs> pink well. I like that. Uh, I have returned with some of the complex tools I knew I would be needing. I assumed I would have to return for more basic materials. However, it seems as though I will be able to find everything I need here. Of course, iron is abundant, but I have also found titanium occurring naturally. I am all the more excited to begin work. Everything is set and I look forward to tomorrow. My raw materials are all here. I think I will be able to have most of my additions to this age completed within one year. I so love working with my hands, whether writing or building. I began... I don't know if this is, like, the heat has, like, evaporated the ink on the page, maybe. But, uh, yeah, so the, the well. And I have decided, too, that's, that's a compass. That looks like a satellite. Uh, three meters is not enough support for the beams. Although... 
Okay, okay. Three meters is not enough. That's good to know. Amazingly strong. Hey, look at that! It's the ship! Nice! Uh, to be one of my most prized inventions, I am extremely... Yes. Could never have imagined it to come together quite as... Something, something. Uh, I doubt... Could possibly work with 14 instead of 8. 14? 14 instead of 8. Hold on, maybe I need that. Maybe... Maybe that's the power eight. I need. Maybe I need 14. Maybe I need 8. Maybe I need 14. I'm gonna write that down. They seem like they could be important numbers. Completely fatigued. I am so happy to have completed do -do 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 tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's great that so many of these are just expressing amazement at the discoveries, but not what the discoveries are. Yeah, I love it so much. I love so much being like, I can't believe this. It's amazing. It's so good. Anyway. <laughs> I am leaving today in order to bring back Cirrus and Akina. I have left them alone in Channelwood. I believe they will enjoy all there is to see here. The age seems to have stabilized. I believe the meteor set off a period of volcanic activity by piercing into the shallow crust. But the tremors have become few. I have just noticed that a large amount of this journal has curiously vanished from the very pages on which I wrote over the last 18 months. Fortunately, I have copied many of my construction notes in another journal. Why... <sighs> Can't you just rewrite them in this one? Thanks, mate. That's great. Now I've got to find the other journal. <laughs> yeah, perhaps we're in need of more information. Fancy that. I do not understand the many mysteries of this world, but I trust I will discover logical answers to my questions. I have a feeling that many of my questions can be answered in another age to which I hope to travel soon. But for now, I must simply accept this world's mysteries and take pride in my accomplishments. Yeah, see, like, from what I'm hearing from this, I'm pretty sure this is the age I'm in right now. I'm pretty sure I am in this age because there's no other inhabitants here. And we've seen all of the, like, mining down below. We, we saw the ship is here. Yeah, oh, look at this, though. It's so big. Hmm... Hmm. Right. Now, do it. Do I read the the fourth journal as well? I can't do it just yet. I need a break from reading. I need a break from reading. Let's go try fourteen. Was it fourteen? Yes, it was fourteen. <laughs> I'm so glad I wrote that down. Let's go down here to the bit with the power. See if anything happens if I put. If I do 14. Alright, it's all lighting up. So, I have... The, these are 5 and 9. This one was 9, this one was 5. That would make 14. Let's try it. So I'll turn that one on. And that one. 14. Does that work? It did like a little spark and then it stopped sparking. Let's see what happens if I go outside now. I've, I've got a feeling. I've got a good feeling about 14. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I feel like I just broke everything. Hmm. Alright, will anything happen if I do that? Nah. It's like, it's just so strange because it's not connecting to the, the power to the ship anymore. It's just the power in general. What's it the power for? Just everything? Power for other things? I have no idea. Was it always half past eight? Hmm. Did I do that? <laughs> hum. Hum. Alright, so what was the other one? The other one was just eight. 
which is a pretty great number. Unless there might be something like here I'm missing? Like in the caves? I have just been like running through. So there might be something I've been missing along the way. I'm not, I'm not seeing anything I can interact with. I don't think. Oh, it's so loud. All right. What are you, what are you doing? Like, I, I want to, like, power the ship. How do I power the ship? They're doing the little zappies. Let's, let's just try eight then. Which one was eight? Eight was, where's my note? Eight. Thank you, yes, eight. Eight. Okay, it didn't spark. Oh, but I don't think any of them spark if I just do one. Yeah, let's just try eight then. But it's like nothing seems to be changing. Hmm. I'm baffled. Oh, I think that was a light reflection. <laughs> Never mind. Hmm. Hmm. Because in here, this needs a three digit number, and I don't think I've seen any three digit numbers anywhere. This needs a time. I don't know what time. In here, there's the thing with the really cool look constellation machine but that also needs like a date and a time and I don't even know what the bottom bit is oh that's the is that the year oh I think that's the year and then this is the time So I put it to the year 2400. Uh, maybe, let's, let's go like 1400? I think I broke it. Or maybe I have to shut the door. Oh no, there are the constellations, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna need to find the right date and time and year, and I don't have those. Maybe it's time to read that other book. <laughs> Maybe it's time to read the other book. Ah, here we go. Right, cause what else? Yeah, cause this one was blah, blah, blah. I got all of these. I wish there was a way to just go back to the first page. There's so many. But yeah, because that just says like it rolls up and goes up. And I figured that out and I went in there. But like, I feel like there's something I'm missing once I actually put the things on the wall. Like I'm definitely missing something. I just don't know what. Like maybe it just needs power. Maybe it's because there isn't like enough power here. I could do it. You believe in me? I'm glad you believe in me because I'm not sure if I do right now. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll figure it out. There's one thing I am good at. It's being persistent. And refusing to give up. Right. More story time. This is the last journal that is in this uh, bookshelf. So hopefully there's something here. Before arriving in this age, I was determined that it would be a journey to a world very different from my previous adventures. And it was. The sky here is dark and grey and incessantly displays flashes of lightning in the distance. I met a very old man with a long beard and hair that hangs to his waist. He is very feeble and has trouble even moving. This man has obviously been through many things in this strange world, and I have learnt many things from him. He has told me an interesting story of this world's history. Years ago, he told me, there was a beautiful city that rose up out of the water. It housed many people inside its walls, and the people had any, uh, everything they wished for. 
The city was surrounded by three high hills which rose higher than the city. On the east hill of the city rested a large lookout post. The people of the city had constructed the post expecting visitors to arrive from the east. The people had no means of traveling on the water, which forced them to merely wait for friend or foe. As time passed, friendly visitors brought rumors of an enemy that existed beyond the horizon. The people grew fearful, yet nothing happened. One day, the usually sunny sky became as dark as night, and black ships appeared on the horizon. The lookout post's attempts at peace were turned away, and the sentries there were easily overwhelmed. The ships continued to wreak havoc on the city, apparently destroying everyone and everything. After the foundations of the city were destroyed, the city sunk deep into the ocean, and only the lookout post remained. The black ships sailed away. Oh my goodness, that's the, um, in the middle of the path, the little, like, pond bit in the middle, the little basin. It just had, like, a lookout post like poking out of it. That's going to be this, please. Uh, the man continued to say that eight people had hidden. Eight. And managed to survive through the attack. In the nine years since the attack, two of the survivors had died. He also said that it was rumored that ten years from the attack, the enemy would return to finish the destruction they had started so long ago. I have decided, since hearing the man's story, it would be admirable to save this civilization and stop this enemy's plan of destruction. I am excited about the adventure that awaits me, and an idea has sparked in my mind to provide the needed defense for these people. Uh-huh. I met the remaining survivors today, and I have begun work on a plan for protection. After a short absence, I have returned to this age with my two sons. They have, as of yet, traveled rarely with me, and they are understandably excited to be here. They have grown considerably since Everdunes, and it is already obvious to me that they will be a great help this time, instead of the nuisance they have been in the past. <laughs> what do you expect? They're kids. All three of us, along with four of the healthier survivors, began construction today. We are building upon the old city's ruins, which will provide a perfect foundation for our fortress. My sons have been spending much of their spare time on the South Island, where most of my materials are stored. I am very pleased with their intelligence, and their creativity is refreshing to see, as they work on some small projects of their own. It has been over four months now, and construction is going well. My sons love the world, except for its grey sky. They detest the grey sky, and tell me many times they wish the sky here was... They wish the sky here were like the blue sky in mist. The old man I first talked to tells me that the enemy is due in four months. I feel we will be ready when the time comes. The man reminds me of Emmett in many ways, and I often wonder how Emmett and his people are doing. It has been six months of work, and we have finally finished the fortress. It rests between the three hills, which are now only islands due to a rising water level that the people experienced after the attack. You're new here. Please let you in on the 8 meme. Um, the 8 meme is actually... It's not my meme. It is a meme from the Stanley Parable. <laughs> it's from the Stanley Parable. It's, um... 8. 8. 8. There's also another sound alert as well, a gym one. That's also from the Stanley Parable. I, I just really like that game. <laughs> it's just a really good game. But I've adopted the eight too. Like I've, I feel like through the Stanley Parable, I have fully there's Jim, there he is. But I feel like through Stanley Parable, I've, I've grown to appreciate the number eight more. Like uh, appreciate a a. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> I appreciate it. It's a good number though. It's a good number. But yeah, yeah, I have a gym button in the in the channel point redeems. You too can press the the button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. It's a good one. Also, Tataruga, hello, Tataruga Dex J six. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're enjoying your time here. Thank you for stopping by. Stopping by. Stopping. Sticking around. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but hi. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the follow. Welcome to story time. As I try and figure out what the heck I'm doing. Here we go. It has been six months of work and we have finally finished. Oh, I read this. I read it up to here. Never mind. Uh, inside the fortress, I have designed a most intriguing device. It makes use of a technology called holography. I began experimenting. Uh, uh, a technology called holography I began experimenting with on my visits to Aspermere. It will be working in a couple of days after I compensate for some small miscalculations. This holographic device will enable the survivors to learn to use the fortress. Use the fortress? Hmm. <laughs> Motorcycle turtle, your nickname. I'm so bad at like reading things. Uh, let me know what you want me to call you if you, if you have like a specific nickname because I I never know. But uh, thank you for stopping in. Ah, uh, love Kevin Brighting's work in Stanley Parable. He's such a perfect narrator. He just has the narration voice. It's so good. I'd love to do narration stuff at some point. I feel like it would be a lot of fun. But uh, I think I'd be pretty decent at it too. What can I say that would be like a narration thing? As we continue our journey, we discover that Liri has no idea what she's doing. It's kind of unfortunate. She always touts herself as having such a big brain. She's so smart. She can do all the puzzles. And look at her now. Useless. She doesn't know what she's doing at all. I'm, I, I'm just like being mean to myself here. Why am I doing that? <laughs> Why did my narrator turn so mean to myself? I'm doing my best. I'm working hard. I'm doing okay. I'd do better if I like wrote something down and read it out, but I'd, I'd like to do that kind of stuff. It'd be fun. I can also do like a good like nature documentary voice. Like, and here we spot the wild Lyrie in her natural environment. We don't know what she's doing, but she's doing it. Let's see what she does next. Oh, she appears to have opened a book. Magnificent. Truly impressive to watch. Anyway, like, that's enough of that. <laughs> that's enough of that. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Sounds like I just 100 percented the Talus 2 DLC. It's, yeah, it's like, who who are you? Shut up. You're not me. Or maybe you are me. You're a little part of me, but you're being very mean to myself, and I need to stop that. Anyway, a pen wing. Yes, let us, let us see the pen wing. Where even was I? Yeah, we were talking about uh, using the fortress, which sounds... Like a lot of fun. Just looks like little joysticks. So power and truck slope. I don't know what that means. I don't know if I've taken a photo of that already, but I'll do another one anyway. The enemy is due to come soon, and I trust the fortress will provide sufficient protection for all of us. Look how cool that is. That's really cool. It's boop. There's a track. The black ships have come. Their attack was substantial. Their weapons have been stopped and it appears they have turned away in defeat. I could not help but smile as I watched the boats leave. Ooh, insignia of the black ship. That's like the, the cross that we saw before. Kind of. It's got like a point to it. Anyway, haha. -ha. Last night we had a small celebration and the old survivors danced their dances of old. My sons did not understand why the sky had not turned back to its original blue. The old man told them that the storms would never end until the enemy was destroyed. I assured my sons that a blue sky was not worth the risk of death, and they seemed to hear me. I have had a healthy adventure and have begun work on a new book. Once again, I must leave a familiar age in search of a new universe I have begun. Yeah, I, I saw the, the, the Benedict Cumberbatch penwing. I, I love that so much. I I think they can be penwings. I think that's fine. Uh, but first, I will have an extended time with Catherine, whom I miss very much. I must also return to the people of the Tide. I believe in my travels I have found a substance that will ease the pain of their bone ailments that they have endured, that they have long endured. I hope to return to mechanical age one day and find the population growing and my fortress still strong. Though the sky may always be black, 
I am confident the people here feel a heavier darkness has been lifted from their shoulders. Yay! Nice. Okay, I've read all of the all of the journals now, so It all depends on like if I've missed a date or a time somewhere. Better bum, better bum. This is talking about the lighthouse. On the rocks. Yeah, that was the lighthouse on the rocks. This one was the the Tweed Dwellers. This one, I think, is here. Maybe. Maybe not. I This might not be any of these specifically. I, I don't think I've gone to any of them yet. And then this is the Mechanical Age. I forget all the names of them, though. But, like, I... I how do... Let's open book again. Hi. Hi. Give me something. Give me something. See me? I'm here. Blue pages. Blue pages. Sorry, I haven't found any. Never, never. Just... I haven't found the pages. I'm so sorry. Ah. Ah. Like, what am I? What am I even doing? I feel like I'm missing something. Like, I, I need to, I'm pretty sure I need to turn these switches on. But I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what time it is. What time is it? What time is it? Do I see anything with the time? I don't have a number for there. I don't know what I'm doing with the power. I kind of just blew that up. Is all of these as well? Maybe I just specifically need to do some of them, but I don't know which ones. Because look, that's there. That's got the... That's the lookout tower. Poking out. Why do I not remember this? Why do I not remember what to do? I'm so... Genuinely amazed at myself. For how little I remember. Let's go down here again. Very cool. It looks very cool. What am I missing? Oh, thank you so much for following to Retro Tom. Glad you decided to to stick around. <laughs> See, now now that you've now that you know the story of eight, you're stuck here. <laughs> thank you for following. Again. I feel like it's probably going to be the silliest thing when I realize that I'm going to be mad at myself. <laughs> what am I missing? Imagine how the scenes would look in like point and click mode, but also I just keep wanting to wander around. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Cheering so hard for me right now. <laughs> Thank you. I need the cheers. I I'm just. I know I'm missing something. I'm I'm like I remember 
something. I don't know what it is, but I remember there being like something. To, to like find. I wish I could remember this game. I'm, I'm like, I, I remember there was something somewhere. And that doesn't help me at all because it's like, well, yeah, there's, there's loads of things everywhere. <sighs> Here, up here. No, I'm. I got a pester past Leary for clues. Past Leary is. The, the, her memory is gone. That's not there anymore. Ugh. I feel like it's almost harder having it like fully 3D. You can walk anywhere. Because at least like when it's just like the point and click and you just have a screen, you know it's going to be on that screen somewhere. Whereas with the point and click, it's like, well, wh whereas with the 3D, it's like if you are just looking in the wrong direction, you can miss stuff. Which is probably what I'm doing. <laughs> <sighs> Wandering around. It's gonna be something somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I've just been pulling all the switches. What am I missing? I feel like there was like a note or something. Is there a note? I don't trust my own memory. I'm I feel like my my mind's like making up memories, so I don't even know if I'm <laughs> right. Hmm. Where am I? Who am I? What am I doing? Who knows? Do I go read more books? No, probably not. But uh, it is, that is true. It is very beautiful in 3D. It's like, even though I am incredibly lost and probably missing obvious things, at least it's beautiful. At least it is lovely to, to have a wander around. Like, I'm, I'm not in any rush. We can just... We can just keep having a, a walk around. It's great. So nice here. Hmm. Actually wild how little I remember. Hmm. I'm gonna keep wandering for a little bit and then I, I may actually cave and ask for help because because <laughs> I don't I'm it feels silly at this point. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. I just don't know what it is. It doesn't feel obvious to me. Oh my goodness, I can go on the roof. <laughs> Hi! Nice! Uh, it's okay, you don't remember the past five seconds. No, me neither, it's fine. I am I always say, like, I have a really good long-term memory with some things, but my short-term memory is abysmal. My short-term memory is so bad. I have to make notes because I will forget something, like, five seconds after I've said it. <laughs> uh, also, wasn't there a way to swap between free walk mode and point and click? Not in this remaster, unfortunately. This one is is just like fully 3D. But I I kind of wish there was. I would like to do that. I'd like like the option to wander around if I wanted to, but otherwise have it as like the point and click. Going around places. Oh my goodness, a raid. Possumi V Oh Possumi VT. Hello. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in raiders. How's it going? You've come for my trash? Uh, you can have it. 
Wait, do I have much trash at the moment? I I haven't finished my monster yet. Hold on, let me... Okay, I tried to down my monster. I it, There's too much in it to do that. I'm sorry, I can't give you my monster can yet. <laughs> but I've got something around here. Would, would you like this page of notes? I don't need that. I don't need that anymore. I'm, I don't need my notes. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but welcome in, Raiders! Welcome! Hello! You can. You can have all my trash. Here you go. Um, it's mostly paper. A couple of uh, chocolate bar wrappers. I hope you enjoy them. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way. How's it going? I hope you had a good stream. Welcome in, everybody. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri. I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK. And I love comfy games and puzzle games. And I'm currently playing, like, the, the grandfather of puzzle games. But remastered in 3D. Uh, this is Mist, and I have missed something along the way, because I'm very stuck. <laughs> I'm extremely stuck at the moment. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying my best, but uh, I'm... I, I did a lot of reading, at least. I had a good reading time. Oh, thank you for leading the raid. Oh, I really appreciate that. It's so nice, like, thinking to recommend me along. For something but yeah thank you so much for the raid i hope you uh have a a lovely wind down after your raid please don't feel like you have to stick around because you raided go get some rest get some food or drink but i very appreciate it and if anyone does want to stick around i'll prop <gasps> it's it's right here it's right here it's right here it's right here I cannot believe myself. You know what? I'm just gonna say that's raid good luck. I had I had the raid and that gave me the good luck to find what I've been missing for two hours. <laughs> oh my goodness, why is it on a rock? They moved it from the grass to here. I I feel like like I I remembered there being a note, but I remembered it being on the floor, so <laughs> the fact that it's on a rock. <laughs> oh my goodness. But, ah, uh, Oh, it's so I wouldn't lose it. I, I, I can't believe I... How... I must have walked past that so many times. It's, like, what I was saying, though, like, when you're doing, like, the, the point-and-click screens, you know that everything you're looking for is going to be on the screen, but when you have full range of vision, you can just be looking in the wrong direction and miss things. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad I found that, though. Oh, you've been living off of coffee today and some fruit gummies. Oh, I hope you can get more than just coffee and fruit gummies. But also, fruit gummies are very nice. I have gummy worms. I, I actually have a, a packet of gummy worms that I haven't opened yet. Do I have one now? I, I kind of want one now. I got gummy worms. Thank you. Thank you for inspiring me to eat gummy worms. <laughs> but, uh, oh, you're playing Sam and Max, a point and click. Uh, nice to know that everything you need is on one screen, but, you know, a slightly open world is like, where, yeah, where is that one thing? Yeah, it's really interesting because this, this game is like 30 years old. It was originally a point and click, like, you just have a screen. You click to go to the next screen. So the fact that it's like remastered in full 3D and you can just walk around the island is quite strange. It makes the island feel smaller, but it also means it's so much easier to miss things as well. I missed, I, I missed it. Missed. Also Xander Inferno, thank you for the follow too. I'm so sorry, this is so late. I got distracted. <laughs> but thank you so much for the follow. I hope you enjoy your time here. Oh, uh, played this as a teen. Yeah, I played this when I was younger, and I don't remember it. Like, I somehow managed to fully wipe my memory of it, and I'm... I thought it would come back to me the more I play, and it hasn't. It hasn't been coming back to me. I, it's still... I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, yeah, this is a, a VR remake, though. You can play it in VR. And they just recently released Riven as well, which is the sequel. And that... That was released like a few months ago, and that is also available in VR as well. So it's very cool. 
And I can imagine it being a lot of fun in VR as well. I think it would be a really fun experience in VR because just walking around normally is fun. But yeah, anyway, I can't, I can't believe I... Uh, there we go. Catherine, I've left for you a message of utmost importance in our forechamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on this island into the imager to retrieve the message. Huh? Yours, Atrus. Okay. A number of marker switches. Is that going to be these, the ones I've been pulling? Do I need to figure out how many there are now? Okay. Here we go. Yeah, so fantastic to have both. Yes, it's so cool. It makes me wish I had a VR headset. Also, Battle Beetle, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you for, for stopping in and sticking around. Oh, and Opossumi as well. Thank you. Thank you very much for the follow. I really appreciate the raid. I hope you have a good rest after your stream. Uh, look after yourself. Maybe get some uh, some good food. I believe. I believe in sustenance. Wait, you know what I'll do? I will just... um throw some good food in my trash and then you can eat that there you go <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid have a have a good rest i can do it it's just counting i i'm so bad at counting you know what i'm like with counting i don't know how to count okay so there's one two uh three Four. I know there's one up there. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Eight. In our chambers by the dock. So that's going to be the, the funky room. I'm pretty sure there's eight. I think there's eight. I hope there's eight. I don't know how to count. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, VTuber's only weakness, math and grass. No, I've I've touched grass several times. Like at least twice. So what do I do? Do I just like press it eight times? How do I like input a number? It's not here? <laughs> I can only count to one. One. I can count to one. Two. I can count to two. Three. I can count to three. Four. I can count to four. One. What comes after one? <laughs> Touch grass? Oh, uh, what was it like? Um, I, I'd say it was overrated. And I... I won't do it often, but uh, I did it. What am I, what am I doing in here? Unless it's like back in the big old circle. Maybe it's... Hold on. Maybe it's in here and it's gonna be... The book? Maybe? Overrated? I... I look, I'm, I have hay fever. I'm... <laughs> oh, what have I done? What have I done? Why is the book like that? What did- Huh? Huh? I don't know how to read either, apparently. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try this. I'm wondering if this is gonna be the eight I need. Let's try. Take a photo on my phone so I can constantly reference it. 
I wonder if the game needs a reboot. Honestly, it probably does. I feel like I'm just breaking everything. <laughs> like, I broke the power thing down there. I broke the book. I don't know what I'm doing in here, but I'm probably breaking this as well. I'm going to at least try and put this in and see if anything happens. Ba, 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 ba. It's this kind of pattern. Not that one. There. It's that pattern. But all I can do is like press this button and it just opens it again and all the lights go off. So I don't think it's that. Don't break the books. I didn't mean to. I just don't know how to read, apparently. <laughs> hmm. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to save. I probably should have saved way sooner than this anyway. I'm going to save. I'm going to go back to the main menu. Okay, never mind. I'm just closing the entire game when I press quit, apparently. Is there not like a return to main menu button? I didn't think I saw one. Well, very glad I saved anyway. Um, I, now I'm going to reload the game and everyone can be deafened by the um, the splash screen that plays because it's really, really loud for some reason. <laughs> ah. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, I'm pro gaming. I'm pro gaming. I'm so good at puzzles. Look at me. <laughs> I love to break things. Actually, it doesn't feel as loud as I remember it being. Oh, there's the loud bit. It's no, it's not as loud as I remembered it being. That was more reasonable. It's still loud though. But yes, also Dom Optic, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Welcome on in. Hope you enjoy your time here as I am like a really smart, intelligent person. <laughs> Who knows how to play games? <laughs> yeah, maybe it did save the volume settings. It might be that. Oh, it does auto save as well, at least. That's nice. Okay. Let's go back. I'm doing fine. <laughs> well, I feel like I've I've got a lot of information for later that I maybe like don't even need yet, but I've I've gathered it. I'm gathering it. I think it's Oh, the 3D makes me think I can just jump off the edge here, but I still have to go along the walkways. <laughs> it's gotta be like in here. How do I What do I do? What do I do? Where do I put, put the numbers? Boop. Oh. I thought I'd already clicked on that. I thought I'd already clicked on that and it did nothing. What? Oh, yeah. I, I, I think I've just realized what happened. I think I was on this screen and I clicked it and it just like zoomed in to the panel. And I thought that meant the button didn't work. That, oh. Amazing. 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 It's okay. No, not 98. I, I can't believe this. Like, I can't believe this. Did that work? Was it right? Yes. Eight. I have to live quickly. Something terrible has happened. Hi. It's hard for me to believe. Most of my books have been destroyed. <gasps> Catherine is one of our sons. I suspect Agatha, but I shouldn't make <sighs> conclusions. I'll find him and Cirrus as well. Oh, I should have known better than have left my library unchecked for so long. <sighs> well, I've removed the remaining undamaged books from the library and placed them in their places of protection. You okay. shouldn't have to use the books until I return, but if you've forgotten the access keys, remember the tower rotation. And don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, and erase this message after you viewed it, just to be safe. Okay. 
All right, remember the tower rotation. Thank you, I definitely remember that. This is so funny. I can't believe it took me three hours to get to this. <laughs> this is like the start. This is the start of everything. That took me three hours. But it's okay, because I read all of the lore journals, so I think it's fine. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. I'm... <laughs> ah, so that has music blaring over it normally. Oh, I'm glad it didn't that time. But at the same time, like, I'm pretty sure I turned on subtitles in the options, and there were not subtitles. There, display subtitles? It did not display any subtitles. I just... En français? Oui, oui, bonjour. I don't know French. But it didn't show any subtitles, so that's a little bit sad because I'm really bad at passing things sometimes, so I like having the text on screen. <sighs> was that even any new info? It was remember the tower rotation. <laughs> the tower rotation. So it's going to be like, this is like the... This is going to be like the mechanical world. This is going to be the 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 water. So no, that's going to be the that's going to be the tweed dwellers. That's going to the, the the the. I can't turn it. Why is it not turning? There we go. Uh, that's going to be the mining one. And then that's going to be the one where the, the pirates attacked. So those are the ages. It's like linking to these is each of the ages. I, I can figure out that much. So I rotated it, but I don't know what I'm doing next. Oh, maybe like now that I've rotated the tower, maybe I can go up to the library? Right, which one do I want to start with? I guess I guess I'll just start there. Why not? Maybe it'll actually let me use the elevator now that it's actually No, okay. How can I get to the library? Hmm. Oh, uh oh. Oh. Okay, that closes. Okay. Oh! Hold on, hold on. Now I'm in the same place, never mind. Hmm. Right, so uh, I, I got more information and <laughs> I'm still just about as stuck as before. Hmm. Like, I just don't know how to get to the... up to the library. It won't, like, let me... It won't let me use the elevator and I don't know if it's because of where the tower is? Maybe? Oh. Why? Oh, do I have to shut the door first? Oh, I'm... <laughs> I, I think... I think... When I finish this game, I need to make a clip compilation of just, like, my my silliest silly moments. I am having so many silly moments. This is incredible. I'm, like, it's going to get to, like, the tricky puzzles. I can figure those out easily. But, like, shutting a door, that's, that's asking a lot of me, honestly. That's, <laughs> that's a bit much. Finding a piece of paper on a rock when it's, when I imagined it would be on the floor, that's, that's really tricky. Pressing a button, very difficult. <laughs> oh my goodness, I... 
I cannot believe myself. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Key. 240-221. Book. Books. I can't believe. I, I cannot believe myself for that. That's so funny. <laughs> Ah, oh. and then when this is rotated, I can see in these directions. Ooh. So uh, it's so it's pointing towards the the cogs at the moment for like the mechanical thing. So then, if I ro rotate the the tower, I'll be able to look out the window at other things. Anyway. 240, 221. What is this for? We will find out. Oh, I, I can't believe that. I'm... I feel like... Oh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when I was playing one of the Rusty Lake games and I got so stuck trying to boil an egg. Like, I was fine with all of the tricky puzzles, but I had to boil an egg and I could not figure it out. And then I had the same problem trying to like brew a pot of coffee too. It was like, oh, it's it's fine. All these like super complex things, those are great. Those are those are not a problem for me. But as soon as <laughs> as soon as I have to do like a mundane task, it's impossible. Two forty, two two one. Seeing like the two two one, I'm wondering if that might be. Oh here, no. Let's try this. Try this at two forty. Two forty. Yes. Two forty. Finally, finally, I can get over here. Oh, they're cogs. Cool. They're like glistening with the water. Oh my goodness. And now a boop. Boop. Oh my goodness, I'm making progress. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Yeah, it's, I, I, I think it is definitely the kind of stuff that like, you can tell that the puzzles were intended for like the, the single screens of a point and click game. All right, uh, I, I'm, oh, 221. Was it 221? Hold on. I'm already second guessing myself. It was 221, okay. Oh, okay. I need just the top one. Uh. Okay. Oh, oh, I held it down and it just did like the one. Okay. I'm gonna do. Oh, then go. I think I, I broke it. I, I I did too many pulls. I think. Uh, is that gonna like reset it? Maybe. Oh no! It turned those. Oh, it's there. Okay. Okay. All right. Set it. Okay, I think I know what I must do. It's just a question of if I actually do it or not. 
I think I do that. No. No, never mind. I think I do that. Once. And I do that and hold it down. Oh no, it moves the middle one! Well, I did that too much then. Okay, no, I know how these work now, though. So I go one there. This. There. There we go. Got it. Got it. Oh, my goodness. I got my first achievement. After three hours, I got my first achievement. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. I'm a genius. Nice, nice. Also, oh my goodness, the music is so loud and ominous. Why is the music so loud? It is like really like ominously loud. I'm, I have to turn the music down again. Let's put it on 40. <laughs> it's like super loud. Oh, not that loud for you. Oh, maybe I can turn it up a little bit more then. Maybe I just need to turn my own volume down. I'll, I'll do like... 50 would compromise because it's really cool but it also was just like out of nowhere like oh my goodness hi anyway nice i did it it took me far longer than it should have but that's okay because at least i did solve it like solving it is better than oh Was that just the door shutting? That was so loud. But I did it. And that's the important part. Like, it, <laughs> I don't care how long I take to do things, so long as I do them in the end. That's like my my main approach to any game. It's like, it's always nice when I solve things quickly and feel very smart. But like, I'm not in any rush. I'm never in a rush. I'm I'm always just happy to to take my time, enjoy the ride. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that door closing is really loud, huh? Right, so I, I did that. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm going to do? I want to... I want to aim this at something. Yeah, I love that it's just like, yeah, you, you need to know that it's closed. You need to realize that door is shut behind you. You can't be unaware of it. It has to deafen you. Let's go ahead. That's where it already was. <laughs> Clunk. Huh. Now I'm stuck again. No, no, I'm not stuck again. What am I talking about? Now I just do the get the keys for the other places. Right. <laughs> I'm so silly. So silly. Why was I I was just ready to just be here like, well, I don't know what to do now. No, I just I do all of them. I did one of them. I gotta do the other three. Gotta go look out the window, get the key. For the other ones. I can probably make a note of all of them. Don't blank out now. I'm sorry. It's midnight. I, I just need more monster. That's all I need. It's okay. I'm fine now. I'm fine now. I know what I'm doing. Oh! 
Yes, that's what I want. We got that key now. I want to have a look. I want to have a look out the window. Yeah, that's the boat. That's the boat with the, the people who are under attack. Hee <laughs> hee. It's all good. It's all good. It. This was all the warm up. Everything before now was the warm up. Now it's now it's time to actually do stuff. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that took me so long. I'm I'm very amused. Yeah, no, wait, yeah, no, you're right. It's an actual puzzle. I solved the puzzle of ascending to the library. And I'm, I should be proud of myself for it. That's a, that's a valid puzzle. <laughs> oh, why is my mouse drifting so much? What is happening? Hold on. I think my mouse is having some cable shenanigans at the moment. Because I don't have a wireless mouse. I have a, a mouse with a cable, and sometimes it decides... It wants to have a time. Right, there we go. 724. Oh, that's going to be the... The gas room, I bet. Let's have a look. Yeah, to be fair, it is it is good. Yeah, that's the tree. That's going to be the, the tree dwellers. Bup, 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 bup. Sometimes it just won't let me down the ladder as well. But I, I guess it is good to make sure that there isn't the potential of falling out of the elevator to my death. That's like a good thing. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. I, I truly cannot believe myself. But it's okay. I'm here now. Hopefully the tower won't need to be pointing there while I'm putting the stuff in, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, I think it's less falling and more chopping as the elevator goes up down past the doorway. Yeah, all, all it would take is like, just have your arm sticking out. As soon as that goes down, you would be not having a good time. <laughs> and oh, 59 volts. Okay, that's the number I need now. Oh, isn't it amazing how everything suddenly makes sense now that I've actually figured out what I need to do in the game. Oh wait, no, I didn't have a look out the window. I must look out the window first. Yeah, there's the ship. Okay, there we go. Uh, when you were a kid playing this game, you always thought there was a monster going to eat you later on in the ages. Because <laughs> of the music. Oh, I love the music in this. It's so good. Down the elevator. Uh, also, I am so sorry. That must have been so infuriating to watch. <laughs> but at least we had journal story time to, to break up the infuriating parts. I got there eventually. And it's so funny too, because I was just about to get to the point where I'm like, okay, what am I missing? Someone tell me. And then <laughs> I saw it on the rock. <laughs> I saw the note on the rock. Right, well, I have stuff now, so... Let's start here. We got some dates and times. so glad uh, in the time when midi music was the dominant game music hearing this was uh, ear candy it's so good they're great little tunes oh no man you teach elderly people how to use computers all day your patience knows no bounds <laughs> i'm glad i'm glad you have to be patient sometimes when i'm uh, forgetting how doors work <laughs> Oh, Kiroboros as well. Hello, welcome. Thank you for the hydrate. Let me have a sip of my monster. 
And welcome in! You joined at a great time! Um, it only took me three hours, but I've figured out how to start the game. <laughs> honestly, though, it's been nice just um, wandering around the island, honestly. It's been a good time. Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a photo of these on my phone so I can always reference them too. Okay, I got that one. 724, got that one. And 59 volts. All right, they are on my phone. I can reference them right in front of me. Because this is going to be the, the constellations. So there's going to be three. Oh, yeah, write it down in my notebook. Yes, I very quickly wrote all of those dates and times and years. Very, very fast speed writing. <laughs> but, oh, I've been here a while, just sleepy watching between things. Yeah, I'm, I always appreciate the lurks. I'm always happy if people want to just hang out and spend time with me, even if you're not, like, actively watching. It's nice. But uh, I hope you sleep well. Thank you for the, the hydrate before bed. Right, so we start with... October 11th, 1984. Oh, 1984. Nice. Boop. And that is at 10.04 a.m. Okay. Ba -da -ba -da -bum. It's going. Ooh. Okay, let me um, draw this constellation in my notebook. <laughs> All right, next one. Next one is uh, January 17th. January 17th, uh, 12.07. Seven, and that is 5.46 a.m. Five, go back, 46. Okay. See what that one is? We got another beautiful constellation. Very nice, very good. And now the third one is November 23rd. Whoop. November 23rd, and that is 9791. That is very far in the future. And that is 6.57 p.m., so that's going to be 18. 18.57. I'm glad I know military time. Stargazer! I got him! I got the stars! Fabulous! And I got another achievement! See, this is it. This, this was all the build-up. Now I'm getting all of the achievements. Right, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, I'll figure out which constellations match these and then poke them. But first... I got some voltage. Bum, bum, bum. Right, and this was 59 volts. Okay, so I, I actually have my, my real notes for this one. So 59 volts. Uh, let's... I'm just going to start with pressing some. So we're going to go 22. We're going to go 22. We're going to go 32. Uh, we're going to go... What else do I have? I've got 16, 32, 42, 
48 plus 48 plus 19 would be 57 and then a 2 59 no that's 69 turn off the 10 I can't count I don't know maths there we got 59 <laughs> so that's right right nothing happened but I th th it said 59 so now I'm gonna go turn those power things on Hopefully. I may have just done it wrong. Honestly, like, the fact that I just blew everything up probably wasn't the best, but... No, that's not working. Right, let, let's do the other one. I know the other, at least. Let's go around here. And see what happens here. But, uh, hello, Dr. Anime! Welcome! Welcome, welcome. Uh... Just so you know, I deleted that comment because it's not really like a super appropriate comment. But uh, welcome on into the stream, though. I hope you're doing well. Right, and then this was a uh, seven two four. Oh, it's a dial. Seven two four. It's open. I opened the safe in the cabin. Um. Oh, did I? Oh, it's, it's lit. The fire is stoked. It's going. We got the pressure. We got the pressure going. <gasps> yes. <gasps> oh, look how high it's going. <gasps> oh, look at that. It's just going. I missed it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's so high up. I guess I maybe need to catch it in time. <laughs> Pressure. Pushing down on me. Dun, 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 dun. Um, right, yeah, the other one was here. Because it... What am I missing here? What am I missing with the voltage? I need to figure this out. Bum, 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 bum. Right, because I've got that at 59. Because it said 59 volts. But, like, nothing's happening. Because, like, it's not linked because I, like, just broke it entirely. Unless I have to, like, try and make it in a different way. Ah, uh, what else? Remove the 16. What if I, like... What if I start with, like, the smallest numbers and just build it up? Like, one, two, seven, eight. Oh, the zappies there looked cool. Hold on. Zappies. 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 It looks cool. I don't think it's the right thing. 22... It says zapped when I did that, and I'm wondering if that's a bad sign. I don't know. It shouldn't be. So that's 59, but nothing seems to be happening. Hmm. See if I can make it a different way. 5, 1, 2, 7, 8, 9, 10... 42, 52. That would have to be a 17. That's 16. Ah. That's one off. Oh, let's see. 19. Take off the two. That's also 59. That's another way of making it, but, uh. Hmm. Maybe I have to shut the door. No, they're still just... They're just zapping. Oh, wait, maybe... Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. It's like as soon as one is active, they're all zappy. I don't know if that's the case for all of them. It seems like it is. Like, as soon as one is pressed, pressing another one makes it zap. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I was being so smart with all of this stuff, and I... <laughs> oh, it's... Hmm. Oh, is there something like on this fan, maybe? Look at the fan. Nope, I can't do that. Something else around here. See, I the fact that it's 3D makes me want to keep like looking around, but I know that like whatever I need, I'm not gonna find it by looking around because of the game. Because of the nature of the game, it's gonna be like on the screen. It's g the things I need are gonna be on the screen where I need. Oh my goodness. Huh. It's like, I can't like interact with these. Yeah, it's like, you. yeah, I know there's like the turning in four directions, but like I, I keep like wanting to look up like at the tiniest little corners and stuff, which doesn't feel like what I need. Ugh. It's like I click and I go here and I'm... Hmm. You know what? I'll leave that for now. Because I've already discovered so many cool things. I've already unlocked uh, th th three... I've got three of the achievements. So that can be something to sleep on while I, oh, while I look at the constellations. <gasps> yes, because I took the photos, I mean, uh, made the, the notes of the constellations. So let's find out what they are. Where's my phone? Constellations. Okay. That's the first one. Okay, so we got the leaf. That's literally the first constellation I got. So we got the leaf. We've got... The snake. Yeah, the leaf, the snake, and the beetle. Okay. It's the leaf, the snake, and the beetle. So we go leaf. And beetle and snake. Oh, look! Look, and it's, it's raising up. It's raising. Oh, yes! Salvager, that's me. It's up. Look at that. Oh. Nice. Okay. Achievement get. <laughs> right, what else have I done? There was the... I managed to raise the tree up. Right, I'm wondering if I'm gonna have to, like... No, I, I don't feel like it would have to be, like, a timed thing. Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, look how tall it is, though. But it's like this... In, in there, there's a little doorway. What would happen? If I were to turn this... Oh, just a little bit? Turn it down just a little bit? Reduce the pressure a little, little bit? A little bitty bit? It's not going down much. There. There, it's 
It's going down a bit. It's going down too much. Okay. Let's try that. Is that about right? I feel like that would be about right. Oh, it's still too high. Yeah, it's too high. So we go down. It's just not moving. Okay, yeah, we, we do we do just keep going. There. Clunk. Okay. Yeah, and then it's just going all the way down. Oh no. I don't I don't know what it's doing. It's becoming an elevator, maybe? Oh look, it's like right here. There, yes. I'm in it. It just keeps moving. It just keeps moving now. I've got it at the level where it will keep moving. Yes. I will just wait for it. <laughs> yes. Progress. It took a while, but I made it. <laughs> so dark. It's so very dark. What a lame elevator. It doesn't have music. <laughs> Come on. Oh, hey! Well, it's not quite elevator music, but there's music now. You just have to complain. Okay, I made it. <gasps> oh. oh, yes. I made it. Oh, look at this. Ah. We found book. 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 <gasps> Hello. Oh. Oh, here we go. Book. Book. I made it to the Twee Dwellers. I made it to the Twee Dwellers age. I am so proud. I made it. I did it. And I'm chibi. Wait, I've got no glasses on. Wait, why did, why did, why did it take my glasses off? Hold on. I gotta fix this. I gotta fix this. I'm puzzle gaming. I need the glasses on. But hello. Hi, Monchi. Oh my goodness, you changed your username. I love it. Uh, I'll have to change your credit stuff now. Oh my goodness. Hello! Thank you for making me chibi. Look, now my brain is so big for puzzles. It's perfect. <laughs> but welcome. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the chibi redeem. I made it. I made it to the land of the Twee Dwellers. And now I'm going to start pulling levers. I feel like I remember this area. I feel like I remember this area and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> right, no, I don't, yeah, I don't want it that way. I want it like that. Cause that's a dead end. And I don't want a dead end. Oh my goodness! And the raid, oh! Oh my goodness, I'm so glad. I love that you like pre-prepared for the raid. You were like, okay, if I'm gonna raid into Louie, she has to be using my model. <laughs> Like, she's gotta be chibi. It's gotta happen. It's perfect. But thank you so much for the dog raid. Hello. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome, raiders. Look, Monchi made this model. This model, me right now, was made by Monchi. He's amazing. <laughs> thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Oh, you were playing Inscription. I want to play that game. I want to play it. I've heard so many people talking about it and I try to like avoid gameplay because I want to play it at some point. It looks so cool. I hope you had a good stream. Thank you for the raid. Welcome in. I'm glad you raided now. Oh, a frog. Oh, frog. Sorry, I immediately got distracted by a frog. This is terrible. Hold on. Let me introduce myself. <laughs> Hello, raiders. 
to anyone who's new here, hello! I'm Liri, I'm a pink-haired cat girl from the UK, and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And today I'm being a big brain puzzler. And I say that after taking three hours to start the game properly. It's okay, I made it now. It's It took a while, but I made it. So it's fine. <laughs> but thank you so much for the raid. Oh, just finished it. It's right down my alley. I need to avoid the spoilers. Okay. Okay, noted. I will I will make sure I avoid the spoilers. Gee. But yeah, I really want to play it. It looks so cool. But thank you for bringing the raid this way. Frog. But yeah, I'm currently playing Myst. This is a game that's like 30 years old, but it got remastered a couple of years ago, like a full 3D remake. It's originally a like a point and click puzzle game, but now you can just walk around the world. It's all 3D. You can have a little wander. It's also available in VR, but I don't have a VR headset, so I'm just desktopping it. Whoop. Don't know if I want to pull that yet. But uh, yeah, I um, I had a lot of silly moments this stream. It took me three hours to like properly start the game. I got my first achievement after three hours. <laughs> but I'm on track now. I'm I'm finally actually using my brain the way I should. It took a while, but I made it. Right, so I need to find where I need these tracks to be. Like, this is a dead end, so I need to just block that off. So, yeah, keeping it that way. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, uh, it said the hardest puzzle is getting the game to run. No, the, the, the game ran pretty well. Uh, the hardest part was um, figuring out how to close a door. Or, like, figuring out that I had to close the door. And also, um, there was a note on a rock. And I was expecting it to be on the floor, I think, in my mind. And so, because it was on a rock, I just kept walking past it. And I missed it over and over again. Also, a button that I thought I had pressed and had. <laughs> so, it's, it's, been a, it's been a very big brain stream. I've been... I've been having a, a very smart time. But it's... It's okay, though, because I feel like I'm actually on track now. It was a few small things. And after that, it's been smooth sailing. Like, I'm, I'm just, like, churning out achievements now. It's great. Right. Right, because this is going to be, like... Ooh. Hmm. Well, I don't think I want it to go that way. So we go this way. So then it will go along here and then it'll go this way. I don't even know where I need to get it to. Oh, hello. Hey. Yeah, I don't know what I expected. It's just, like, here and not powered up. Never mind. But uh, thank you so much for the raid, though, again. And I'm, I'm glad it could be chibi model time. <laughs> I love this model so much. It's so good. Although uh, we have, like, developed lore thanks to Divinity Original Sin. Um, basically, now um, we've decided, I say we, uh, me and my brother, we've decided that chibis have such huge huge heads because they're full of explosives so you gotta keep me away from fire when I'm like this because I may explode <laughs> but it's okay avoid the fire and everything is fine right I think that leads to that elevator like the path that I've made the track I've made uh, yeah it's, it's just like big head full of explosives the big old bomb in there. Just, just keep it away from fire, and everything's fine. All right, I guess I should look up here. Now. Oh, that's a bit loud. But uh, also, as well, uh, I meant to say as well, if you have to head off after your stream, if you're tired out, 
If you have to go rest or get food or drink, please don't feel like you have to stick around. But if you do want to stick around for a bit, um... I'm pulling levers. <laughs> what is going on in here? So loud. Pipe water flowing, thank you. That's so great. I have not gotten subtitles for any of the dialogue so far. Yet, I now know that the pipe water is flowing. Thank you. It's great. Great. Oh, but it's going to flow the way I need it to. Right, it's going to flow this way. No, why is it going that way? Oh. Oh, no, it is this way. There's along here, and then it will go here. And then it will go here. It's nice that they do this so that it, like, if, if you can't hear the water flowing, you've got, like, the subtitles to help. That's very cool. But okay, this is, this is powered with the water now, so maybe it will go up? Maybe it go up now? Yes, it's powered! I powered it! <laughs> the power of the water! I feel like this is one of the... I feel like I remember that puzzle vaguely from when I played this. But I don't know why, like, that puzzle specifically. <laughs> but, uh, oh, thank you for the lurk as well! Do you need to go touch some grass? Oh, good luck. But yeah, thank you so much for the luck. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, it is toggleable. It's, um, in the settings, it was uh, display gameplay context subtitles. I put it on just because I like subtitles and I want subtitles for everything, but I don't think I need that one. I don't think I need that one. I think I can hear where the water's going. I have not seen any dialogue subtitles so far, though, even though, <laughs> even though I turned them on. I, oh, I wonder if that's because I... Oh, I bet it's because I enabled the... the What's it called? The classic video mode. I bet because I'm using the FMV videos, they don't have the subtitles baked in, and that's going to be why the subtitles aren't showing up. I bet that's it. Anyway, up in the tweez... Nice. I can hear all of the insects. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's lovely. That's so nice. Oh, I'm big again. Oh, there's so much nice stuff here. Up on the walkway. See, I'm pretty sure I, I took a photo of a map of this place somewhere one of these is it this one yeah um here this is like a, a map of the bridges i guess future bridge but i don't actually know like what i'm actually aiming for here <laughs> Where am I going? What what am I looking for? I don't know. I'm just going to walk along the bridges until something happens. Oh, okay. That's a dead end. So not that way. This way. Ooh. Let's have a look he here. Ooh. Basket. Here. Lots of baskets. Okay, this way. Oh, this this one feels terrifying to stand in. <laughs> hmm. Why am I here? What am I doing? Here? Ooh. Oh, yeah, this is where I... No, is this? No, this isn't where I stepped out. This is a different one, I think. Is it? Is this a different one? I do not know. Yeah, this one's not powered. 
So I'm going to have to power this up. We've got, like, the pulley system. So I guess I follow these. It's, like, over there. Oh, and I'm going to have to go all the way around. <laughs> I see. So I have to try and remember where it is. It was like around here, right? I think it was around here. Where did the cable lead to? Oh, it's here! It's here! It's here! There's the pulley thing. I don't know what I do with it. Oh, it's, it's gonna be that. Never mind. Uh, also, Suzume! Hello! Welcome, welcome! How's it going? Gay Wolf Raid! Welcome on in! Welcome raiders, welcome to um, the tree, the tree tops. The tree tops where the tree dwellers used to live. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? I hope you had fun playing Scheme, Speaker Chinatsu and Haruka's enchanting, marvelous and quite frankly elaborate quest to save their cute girlfriend. <laughs> what a title. What a title for a game. I like that. But uh, welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for the Sapphic Sunday raid. Welcome to Mist. Um, I I have been very silly in this stream. I've had a lot of silly moments, but I'm making progress now. <gasps> Look, there's a windmill. Or a watermill? There is something. Anyway, yes. That opened that, that's, that's what I needed. Now I have to go all the way back, yeah. It's all good. Oh, it's super cute game. Oh, I'm glad. Uh, also played a very short sapphic visual novel written by Aramia. Nice. Called Dahlia Before Scheme. Oh, I, I need to check that out. I will have to check that out at some point. But uh, thank you for bringing the raid this way, though. Welcome to uh, Treetop Puzzling. Oh, yes, I can go down the stairs now. Oh. Spiral. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. I need to go slower. <laughs> but yeah, I'm currently playing Mist. This game is... Um, it was originally... It originally came out like 30 years ago? It's one of like the OG puzzle games. But I... Okay, there's the water. But uh, I, I played it when I was younger, but I don't remember any of it. So it's been like a fully new experience and I have missed like the silliest small things. <laughs> right, oh, do I send the power this way now? Or the water even? I think maybe if I send the water this way. But it might bring it up and then I can use that elevator. Let's see. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's making me really dizzy. <laughs> oh, it's just called Dahlia. Oh, I'll have to check that out. That's sweet. I think I've managed to like power this up. Maybe. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. I did it. I got, I see, I, I got the, the hang of the water pipes very quickly, but I don't know how to open doors. <laughs> See, this is like the funniest thing to me. Like when it gets to the actual puzzling parts, I'm okay with it. But when it's like the tiniest thing, like find a thing on the on a rock, or um, press a button, those are the parts I stumble at. Also, Everett Dipanga, hello, welcome. Fun to see someone play Mist One. The series is a favorite of yours. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad to be playing it too. It's um. I played it a long time ago, but I don't remember anything. Literally nothing. Like, my memory's wiped of it. So this is basically my first playthrough. And um, it may have taken me three hours to get my first achievement, but I got there eventually. <laughs> but I'm having so much fun. It's like... It's one of the, like, quintessential, like, if you think of puzzle games, this was one of the original ones. So... Oh, 
so I'm really glad I'm getting the chance to play it now. It's it's a lot of fun. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you too. You too, mate. Uh, thanks. Thanks for that. I don't like this. Okay. Wow. <laughs> also, Nugs, thank, thank you for that perfectly timed confetti too. <laughs> welcome, welcome. That was that. Yeah, that was perfect confetti timing. Right, I feel like I shouldn't touch this, so I'm going to. Okay, yep. All right. Good to know. Do I need to find a sacrifice? Maybe? Probably? Oh. Thanks! Okay. Okay. I think maybe, maybe that triggers just when you step through a door. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, and see, I'm playing with the original video setting. Yeah, as soon as I saw in the menu that I could have like the original FMV videos, I instantly toggled that on. I was like, yes, I want that. <gasps> and blue page. I found a bloop. Oh, oh, okay. Nice. Also, this place looks great. It's okay, it's carpentry. It's, it's all carpentry, right? It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Gao Kigal Tuntai Wadua Yohoa. Oh, if I press a different button, is that gonna make a different chant happen? Maybe. Oh. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm going back. I want to see if pressing that button changes in here. Maybe not. Oh, it does. remember what it said in the journal now. Let's see what these other buttons do. Why not? I'm sure they're nice. Yeah, yeah I agree. And the fourth one? Oh, he is preparing. I, I found... I push the right button. Very interesting device. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> oh. He is preparing. Good. Remember, take only one page. Okay. All right, so we know. I hope I pushed the right button. You did. Very interesting device. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> he is preparing. Remember, take only one page. One page. Oh. So, uh, yep, that's where the books have gone. Well, not all of them, at least. But, oh, wow. That's so unnerving as well. I love this. Yeah, nothing wrong with taking three hours to start if I spend the time reading the journals, etc. Yeah, I had a really nice time, like, aligning myself with the island, like, figuring out what was going on, reading the lore bits. I loved reading the lore journals and getting, like, some photos for my photo album of things which may be important for various things. 
like um <laughs> various things I need. It it was fun. It's I felt a little bit silly because I I missed a lot of stuff just because I I missed the note at the very start. <laughs> so I was just wandering around like I really don't know what I should be doing next. And then like after I figured that out, it all started falling into place a bit more. But it it was quite funny. Also, oh greetings from New York. Oh greetings from the UK. Greetings from Monday. <laughs> it is technically Monday in the UK right now. But uh, welcome, welcome. Can I... Can I eat him? Like, am I... There. Uh, I push the right button. Very interesting advice. Eat him. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? <laughs> he is prepared. Eat. Remember, take only one page. Oh, everyone misses the note in this remake. It really blends in. I wasn't expecting it to be on a rock. Like, <laughs> I don't know how many times I must have walked past it. It was, I think it was pure chance that I spotted it when I did. But I really, just like the fact it was on the rock. I don't know, like the layout of the island didn't make me think that I would like want to look at the rock. Like it just seemed like an, an interesting angle for it to be at. But it's okay. I found it eventually. Okay. Ooh. Oh, well, this room is so much nicer than all the other ones. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay. I got a red page. Haha. <laughs> oh, hello. There's something here. Uh, something vault access and uh, of mist. Uh, in plain view on mist, an access can be something easily if the simple some the blah, 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 but the switches. Switches. Uh, dock. I, I need the other half of this. Oh, but I will take a photo of that. Yes. Okay, where's the other half? Wait, what is oh, that's a dagger. I think. I think that's like a, a bone dagger or something. I don't know, actually. Delicious. Okay. All right, I'm, I guess I keep exploring. Let's keep going. Oh, can I use this? Oh, I think this is the one I came up on. Oh, I think it's a cheese knife. Oh, I, I don't know anything about cheese knives. <laughs> the only cheese I ever have is like melted onto other foods. I don't know anything about like fancy cheese boards and stuff like that. Yeah, this is how I just got up here. I'm gonna go back up. find the other half of that note. I want to know what it says, because it's something about turning off specific switches. Now that I've got them all turned on. I don't know. Oh, it was next to a block of white and blue cheese. I thought that was like marble or something. Hold on. I want to go have a look. Oh no, I th yeah, I think that is cheese. I don't know, I thought it was like a lump of marble or something. No, that's definitely cheese. Cheese and wine. Cheese and wine and biscuits. Yeah, really living the high life. What is this too? I don't know why, like my brain thought it was a desk fan to begin with. And then I was like, why would there be a desk fan here? Oh, look, I can see down there from here. Cool. And then in there was I can't take that with me. Alright, let's... Yeah, because I think the only thing here was... Creepy sacrifice room and... Oh, 
I hope I pushed the right button. Very interesting device. Yeah, thanks for overwriting whatever that I'm was. I'm not erasing anything important, am I? Oh, I can <laughs> open that. Cool. He is prepared. So I guess I don't have to go through that terrifying room anymore. <laughs> I could go around the edge. But, uh, oh, is there anything else I'm missing in here? I don't know. Oh, never been 100% sure what that is. Also looks like, a bit like birthday cake. Yeah, it's... I. It is... Interesting. It's quite cool, honestly, that they've managed to take, like, the, the original graphics with, like, a vague object and they've managed to recreate an equally vague object. <laughs> I feel like that's quite impressive. Right, yeah, I think I go back down. I think I, I got what I needed from up here. But I don't know if I fully explored, like, around this area. The middle section. What else is there around here? This room. Over here. I think I went here? Yes, because th there's this basket that I keep wanting to go past and then the basket's in the way. In here. I'm so curious about all the baskets. There's so many baskets. Maybe maybe this is just what they like making and it doesn't actually mean anything, but I... I keep wanting like more from them. I think this is so cool. I want a sculpture like that. Right, and what's over here? Right, because this one's a dead end. Oh. Yeah, this... This is a dead end, but, like, the fact that there's so much debris makes me wonder if this... <laughs> something important. Probably not. I think that's just damaged. Right, have I been here? I'm getting so lost in the trees. I don't know where I am. Yes, I have been here. It's, it's that room. See, even though I know I have like a map of this area in one of my books, one of my photos, I feel like even if I had the map up the whole time, I would still get lost. <laughs> right, this is another dead end area. Maybe there's something? There's a bowl. Basket. Maybe not. Okay. More baskets. Oh, loads of pots there. Nice. Let's have a look. Right, what time is... Oh, it, oh, I just realised it's 1am. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I lost track of the time. I lost track of time so badly. Oh my goodness. It's, I did not realise it's 1am. I should probably stop playing now, I say, as I continue to walk through buildings. <laughs> as I continue to walk along bridges. Just here the whole time, like, yeah, I should stop now. I should, I should stop now. I... Probably should stop now. But I'm not stopping yet. No, I, I, I have to stop now. But, uh, this is, this has been so fun. I'm so glad I got the chance to 
to start this properly and I'm excited to continue it next week because next week, next Sunday, same time, I'm going to be playing it again and hopefully I'm going to do better than um, the embarrassment of, oh, the elevator won't move because the door's open. <laughs> I'm just glad I got there eventually. It doesn't matter how long it takes. I'm enjoying the journey. And I am enjoying the frogs. Wait, I want to find a frog before I end. But oh, thank you for the follow too. Thank you for deciding to stick around for a bit. I'm going to be continuing this uh, next Sunday at the same time as the stream was. And I'm, I'm very excited to play more. Hopefully my brain will be a little more active <laughs> than it has been at the moment. What does this do? I heard something. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to power up the water to there then. Okay, so I have a plan of action of what I'm going to do next time I play, but for now, I shall save. I have saved the game. And with that, I shall head over to here and I will send off a raid and prepare myself because um even though it's 1am i'm not going to bed yet uh i said i would play a horror game with friends in like half an hour from now <laughs> so i'm still gonna be around just not actively streaming on my end for now <laughs> but yeah thank you so much everyone for joining me today it's it's been so fun to i was gonna say revisit this it's i'm visiting it for the first time i don't remember any of it but it's been so good. I'm loving, like, reading the journals, getting the lore, having a good time. It's been so much fun. I'm loving it. But yes, I will leave it there for now, though. And I guess, like, have a, have a tiny little break. Go get a snack. <laughs> but yes, I'm, I'm so glad I've got the chance to start playing this now. It's been something that's been on my list of games I wanted to stream, like, since I started streaming. And I've had so many other games that have happened first, but I'm glad I'm finally getting around to this. And I'm excited to play Riven as well once I once I finish this. I might go straight from Mist into Riven, honestly, because because <laughs> I'm I'm having a blast, even if I have been a little silly. It's been going well though. But oh, nice to meet you too. Thank you for for stopping in. I'm glad. You got to join me for, for part of my missed adventures. And there'll be more next week. But for now... For now, I am going to raid into Yuria. Who I am going to be joining in about half an hour. <laughs> like half an hour to an hour. I'm not sure exactly what time we're starting. But it's, it's going to be like around then. But uh, she's already live playing a game. So I can just send you there to wait already. It's perfect. Anyway, here is the raid message. If you're subbed, we got the bongos. We got the Liri bongos. If not, we will send hearts. And I will send you over to the lovely Yuria, who I will be joining in a bit at some point. <laughs> it's been really fun though. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm playing this. I'm really glad. I, I just love puzzles. I love puzzle games. But yeah, hopefully my brain will be a bit more cooperative next time. But yes, that is it from me for now. I'll be back on Tuesday with, um, it's not going to be Twofold Tuesday anymore. I finished Twofold. What am I going to do on Tuesdays now? House Flipper. I'll play House Flipper. <laughs> Honestly, it's been a while since I did some house flipping anyway. I think it's about time. But yes, I'll be back on Tuesday. I'll be posting my schedule at some point tomorrow after I've woken up probably very late because I'm staying up late. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> Miss Tuesday. <laughs> Just keep playing it until I'm done with it. No, I like having the Sunday streams, though. It feels like a, a nice thing to, like, end the week off with, having a bit of big brain puzzling. I say big brain. It was, like, moderate brain today. <laughs> but yes, that is it from me for now. Schedule will be up uh, tomorrow at some point. But yes, I shall go grab some food. <laughs> Go grab a snack. 
But yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me with this. It's been a lot of fun. And thank you for not getting mad at me walking past things multiple times and missing them. <laughs> I just missed it. Sorry. Oh, I, I should be sorry for that. That's awful. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. And until next time, bye-bye.